If you see a teen or adult suddenly collapse, it's important to act fast. Helping to save a life is easier than you might think. Just start hands-only CPR. The first step is to send someone to call your local emergency response number or call it yourself. Then get directly over the victim. Put the heel of one hand in the center of the chest. Then put your other hand on top of the first. Then push hard and fast in the center of the chest until help arrives. It's important to push, giving 100 to 120 compressions per minute, which is about the same tempo as this song. Let's hope you never have to use hands-only CPR. But if you see a teen or adult suddenly collapse, don't be afraid to try it. Remember, call your local emergency number, then push hard and fast in the center of the chest until help arrives. Your actions can help save a life. To learn more, visit international.heart.org. Hello, everyone. Hello. Salutations. Welcome to the charity stream. It's a charity stream. Hope you're all having a good day. Play the video again. Play the video again. All Play right. Play it again. No. Loop it again. Play it again. No. It's just a five-hour loop of that video, that two-minute video. It's very important information, so memorize it. There's going to be a test. The test is uh, the test is that you watch the video. You have to make sure that you know the lyrics to "Staying Alive." Which is the no? Just just the beat. You just need to know the beat to staying alive. Yeah, just just the the uh, what you call it? Not the rhythm, but the uh, the chorus, I guess. Oh, his ribs are broken. I mean, if you're doing it right, probably. Hey, I'd rather be alive and have my ribs be slightly bruised or broken than not be alive. So it's good information to know. He may have several broken ribs, but it's all for the betterment of his life. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the charity stream. Any donations will go to the American Heart Association. Yes. And um, I'm, I hope that overlay is working. But uh, yes, uh, if you do contribute to the American Heart Association with the link that is provided in the description or in the chat, then uh, hopefully that goes through properly and uh, we can raise some money for the American Heart Association so they can continue to do good work. The man passed away a few hours ago. You're just having some fun making some music. So what are we doing today, Zach? Uh, we're going to be playing Fallout New Vegas. All right. Uh, let's just, I guess, hop right in. Except that the controller's not plugged in, so... The controller needs to... We need to have the controller plugged in. Might be first. a little more difficult. There you go. There we go. Wonderful. We're going to start a whole new game of New Vegas. You say the overlay is not up to date. I, I think I see that. Hopefully that's not like a broken static image because the uh, it does say, like, we've got a few donations already submitted. But is it is it because the overlay wasn't on that they don't count? I don't know. Does my do you need do you need to fix the overlay? Ah, it's okay. I'll figure things out as we go. I'll figure things out, and uh, you can just start playing the game, and we'll we'll adapt and overcome. It's always always a bit of a challenge to figure things out. But we'll figure it out. Apparently some of the mods that I wanted to uninstall are still on, but that's fine. How how could you? How could you? <laughs> because I copied a lot of files over from the last computer, so they're not properly mods, they're just files. Whoa, easy there. Mike, easy. have you played Yu-Gi-Oh? 
even I have. I used to play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh on my Game Boy Advance. Why don't you just relax a second? Get Did you ever play the actual card Let's game? See what the damage is. I never owned any actual Yu-Gi-Oh cards. No. You, tell you're, me you're, me? you're telling me that you weren't the one responsible for you weren't the one responsible for creating the deck limit rule by showing up with a <laughs> seven thousand card deck. <laughs> I've seen pictures of that. It's pretty crazy. Um, what, what, what's the what's the character name gonna be? Yeah, I guess it'd be whatever you want. The game looks so dark without mods. The character name is gonna be. Is that normal? Is that Nevada Skies is doing? I don't know. Two bears high five. If that fits, I don't. Oh, you gotta make the two the number two and the five. Yeah, the... yeah you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Two bears high. Yeah, H I high fiving. There you go. Two bears high fiving. <laughs> Perfect. Marvelous. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but it's not what anybody should have picked for anyone. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. Why'd you have to do that? I just had a heart attack and somebody didn't give me proper CPR because they didn't watch the video from the beginning of the stream. Yep. Yeah, that's what it was. How'd I do? That's not what I look like at all. So yeah, so far we've raised three hundred dollars towards our one thousand dollar goal, but the uh, overlay has not updated, and I'm not sure why. And it's a little infuriating, mm. but it's fine. If you got if you got to alt tab out of the program and mess with it, please do, yeah. because we want that to be updated properly. Yeah, it would be nice. Oh, the overlays are incorrect. Hold on, one second. Mike's got to fix stuff. One second, I can get it proper. I can get it proper, probably. Mike must fix things. Wow, it is really dark. I, I noticed that, yeah. I'm not sure why, but this is what happens when I rip out a bunch of moth and... Nope, that's not the right one. <laughs> one moment. It takes a bit of uh, time to get set up properly, but we'll get it set up properly. <clears throat> oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. I would not pay, just a fan, I guess. As I go through the overlays, where's my overlays? Where, honey, where's my overlays? Where is my overlay? Wouldn't be a proper stream if there wasn't tech issues. It's true. You know, it's, uh... Every stream has to be scuffed. Where are you hiding them? Okay, there's the URL. Correct. Yeah, there we go. Where's where's my overlay? All right, that'll do. Um, <laughs> okay. You just you're just clicking buttons, Mike. I'm, I'm just hitting buttons. I'm making it work, but I, I think I'm actually getting close. I'm making it work. Hold on. Okay, how about that? There we go. Now it's working and updated hey, properly. Hey, there we go. Excellent. So I guess I will manually say thank you to everybody who has donated, which includes Arc Charger, Funny Gun Time. Yeah, we might find some of your funny guns. JK Pancake, thank you. Satim, thank you. Tim, thanks to you. Uh, Norsk of Norge was born with CHD. Happy to help others survive and live a happy life. Thank you. Thank you very much. And a $25 donation from Andrew Bond. Been a patron for a long time. I wanted to say, love all you guys and the content we put out. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone who's donated to the charity. And uh, thank you for the kind words. Thank you very much. All right. Now we can head back to the game. Now we got that working. Yay. Marvelous. Why... Why are there so many different versions of Caucasian, Mike? Because there are a couple different mods. I'm sure there's... <laughs> ah, yes. My favorite race, uh, eyebrows. See, the robot race has to equip its own head. So that's why I, that's like that. Thoughts on Fallout London? Pretty psyched. Hope it's good. Looking forward to it. Yes. We're just going to go with... We're going to go with default... Or default face the, for me. Default Dan? If you go... You know, I think there's a, a different face you go to. If you go back to... Uh, there's a different Caucasian. Is it the first one? Maybe a third one? Fourth one. It's got to be the fourth one. Um, and then face, I think it's that one. Yeah. So preset number... Yeah, preset number two. I think he's pretty handsome. Yeah, there you go. Ew. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> Here, we'll just be Al Chess Breach. All right, sure. 
That's identity theft! I don't know what, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hurry up and make the character that you're not going to see because we're playing from the, the third person backside or first person. You raise a very valid point, however. <laughs> it's a weird ritual we all go through, huh? Game-wise, what is the goal today? It's whatever we want it to be. We're, we're trying to enjoy Fallout with the minimal amount of mods, and I don't know if it's possible for us anymore because I, I took out so many mods, but... We're not used to play without mods. We still have some mods. I mean, two bears high-fiving, it's got to look like... I don't know. I don't know what two bears high-fiving has to look like. Oh, uh, I should have installed the race mod so you could have been an actual bear. Ah, well. I mean, that would have been interesting. Go with the Ares sex bot? You could! Get some more eyes on the chat. Get, get some more eyes on the video. People are scrolling through YouTube. They see a half-naked robot woman. Yeah, maybe. I think Two Bears High Fiving is actually the secret code name of Dick Good. Ooh, when he's going undercover. <laughs> That's not facial hair. <laughs> Delilah's hair. <laughs> that is not facial hair. Uh, it's on your face, and if those pigtails are long enough, they'll cover your face. <laughs> Thank you, everybody who's donated so far. Thank you very much. It's awfully quiet. We can, we can turn the music on, or at least sub, turn the subtitles on. Why is it so dark? <laughs> I don't know why it's so dark. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Zero out of ten, not my dick good. Oh, I'm sorry. Can get you on your feet. Dick good takes many forms good. and many shapes. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Dang, hey, we got a big donation. I'm trying to look at the list right here, but I, I see that. Hold on. Now. It ain't a race. Yeah, it is. It's a race. I'm gonna race. I'm gonna race. I'm gonna race. Looking good so far. It's asking me to sign in now. Why? Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. Mike, read some more donations. I, I see there's one big one, a couple, two big ones actually. I can't see the names though because it's so tiny on the screen. My phone's not working. Mike, make some more, read some more donations. Uh, I, I can start making up some names, but I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Come on, phone, work for me, work with me. Read some donations. Uh, a 250 donation from. Ben Zion at a $100 donation from Jump? Jasp? I can't see, it's so small. Good, log in on your phone. I'm trying, it won't work. It's telling me to sign in, but I already signed in. Also, my phone is five years old and won't work. My phone is legitimately at 33% battery life, and it was fully charged an hour ago. It's gonna die on me. This is why you should have bought a new phone. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Too late now. All right. Well, I guess I'm not using my phone. So. <clears throat> I'll have. Can you can you just open it in another? Can you open it in a window, so that you can see the the people that are donating? Uh, because okay. I would really like to thank the people that are donating money. Yeah, I got it open over here. Uh, actually, I can uh, maybe squeeze that. That's there you idea. go. There you go. Something like that. All right. There we go. Okay. We're making it work. We're making it work. Okay. So. Yes. Uh, quite a few more donations. Thank you, everyone. Oh, my. There's a lot. There's a lot. So uh, make it. Uh, where is it? Uh, I guess this is a channel. Ch Thank you for the $100 donation. Uh, okay. Got to expand it a bit. Hold on. <laughs> Scuff stream indeed. Hold on. Let's go. There we are. All right. There we are. Thank you for the $100 donation. I guess this is a channel channel. Thank you very much. And thank you, Sam, for the $100 donation. Thank you. Okay. I get it. I get it. Is it still working? What? <laughs> the game is broken. How'd that happen? All right. What do you mean it's broken? It looks a little broken in a couple different ways. Thank you, Gramps, for the $10 donation. Thank you, Gimme $20 for the $25. <laughs> hey, thank you for that. Thank you, Sam, for the 100 Thank you, Sir Pisalot, for the, the 10 And Arc Charger for the 10 And JPay. Okay, these are the ones I said earlier. And Tim for the 5 And uh, Anonymous for 25 Thank you. And Pastel Fury for 10 Oh, let's see if I can expand. Uh... 
Generation Zero. I think I played that game. I think I played a little bit of that game. Thank you, uh, Benzion, for Mike. You know what? Here, I'll tell you what. Mike, you play. Oh, okay. You play the game. I'm Switch sorry. Seats. I'm so insufferable and incompetent at this. Switch seats with me. Okay. Change places. All right. Okay. You take that. All right. Clearly the goal was not set high enough. Yes, I agree. I should have set it for higher. I think we've... <laughs> we turned off the overlay or is that... Uh... There we go. All right. We, we got to read through, I guess, because we had a lot of donations. There was supposed to be a... If the auto, if the overlay I had set up had actually worked, and I didn't have to swap over at the last minute, a lot of these would be auto popping up. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's showing. That's showing all the different donations we got here on that page. Thank you. We've reached our goal. Thank you, everybody. We've blown past it in the first half hour, just like last time. Thank you so much for all the donations you've given. I apologize. I thought I had this set up properly. I, I thought we were all ready, but I, I apparently did not set things up the way I wanted them to be set up. And um, Yeah, thank you again for all your donations. I, I don't know why the game is broken in the way that it is. What do you mean? Well, I mean, it's... Is it broken? Okay, maybe it's not broken. Maybe it wasn't know. broken. I had, just, I had just set things at different levels. I see. And because the game is not the active window, you're not going to hear any of the game's audio, but that's fine. I can do subtitles. I can read Doc Mitchell's lines. Sit down on the couch. We'll see if those bullets did any good for your scrambled eggs of a brain over there. You got it, Doc Mitchell. So. Alright, I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Dog. Human meat shield. Cows, human meat shield. Night, human meat shield. You know, I, I got some brain damage. I can't say anything but human meat shield, so. That's Band unfortunate. Bandit, human meat shield. Light, human, everything is a human meat shield. Except for the woman, except for the mother. I only tattle. Got a few statements. How would they sound like something I would say? Conflict, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to skip to this because, um. All funny right, pictures. well. Yes. Ooh, get that off the screen. It's kind of explicit. Hey, two bears high-fiving. Ah, oh, we don't have the two bears high-fiving mod on it for two bears high-fiving. Well, I guess he thinks it looks like a head on a pillow. Thank you very much to Gramps for the $10 donation. And give me $20 to the for the $25 donation. Do I have to give him the $20 back? Do I get to keep the $5 donation and now I give you the $20 back? It's like when you reach into the donation hat at the church. Try to get change. Wait, that's a donate. That's donations. I thought they were giving me money. <laughs> it's, the, it's the money hat! Yay! Take a penny, leave a penny. I was always really happy when I went to church and they just handed me a plate filled with money. It's like, oh, thanks, man. Yeah. I guess you people are really nice. Thank you very much to Sam for the one hundred dollars and to Sir Pies a lot for the ten dollars and Arc Charger for the ten dollars and J.K. Pancake for the five dollars. Uh, thank you, Pastel Fury, for the $10. Ah, the name was Jasp. Check out Generation Zero. I've played Generation Zero before. I kind of had a hard time getting into it, but I was playing a really... I was playing an earlier one. I don't know if it's improved a lot. But I'm also not a huge fan of survival crafting games, so, yeah. Um, and thank you to two different anonymous donors for $10 and $25. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. And Rosie... Kelly for ten dollars, and thank you very much, Jasp for a hundred dollars, and Benzion for two hundred and fifty. Thank you, Cake Befuddler. Love you, got love y'all's content. Well, thank you very much, man. Uh, uh, Cake Befuddler, seventy-five dollars, and Benzion. Welcome, welcome. Familiar faces. Well, I got another fa familiar names. Uh, thank you, Bartis, for the twenty dollars, and Zach Delar. 
For the ten dollars, good luck on your uh, on your exam today. X Man. Thank you very much, Slytherin Deception, for the two hundred and fifty dollars. Whoa, Slytherin Deception! Thank you. Uh, and thank you, Isaiah, for the ten dollars. How did the two of us meet and become friends? We met in high school, actually. Yeah. We'll tell the full story someday, but it's not a really interesting story. We just kind of not really. In high Mike school. was Mike was best friends with my locker partner. <laughs> Is that? I can't remember the specific Yeah, that's what details. it was. You were, be you're, you were best friends with Dave, and Dave was my locker partner. Oh, all right. That's that how makes... we met each other. Oh, uh, yeah. We were all right on the end, too, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we went to a relatively small school that you had to have two people per locker. That's right. <laughs> it's a small school, but we had to share lockers. Yeah. They didn't have enough lockers for everybody. Um, now it's bright. Thank you very much, Zircon, for the $25. And thank you, old Snippers, for the $25. Be my wife or husband. Sorry, I'm already taken. If you want, I think you can click on the game to get the uh, music on, and then... No, no you can't. can't scroll then. I can't scroll can't back scroll over then. here. All right. Yeah, I'll tab out of that, I guess. And thank you, Kimmy Boy, uh, for the $10. Kimmy Boy wants to uh, put his voice for New Vegas mods. He wants to know how he can do that. There are some uh, discords you can join that are specifically targeted towards uh, people that are interested in voice acting mods. Uh, I don't have any links to them, but maybe some, if you ask somebody, ask around and someone will be able to give you that information. Um, hang on. Okay. I don't know, hang on. That. I'm going to leave that there. Uh, um, how do I log in to the thing on my phone? How do you log into the... How do I log into that on my phone? The Tiltify? The, oh. Yes, this. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you have to be signed in or not, but I don't think so. You just gotta... I will send you the link. And then... And then I can just monitor it on my phone. Yeah. Do that. Actually, let's see if I can... Do this. Is it? Is it uh, this one? There you go. All right. So alert box. Is that not on? It's supposed to have an alert box, but I haven't seen any alerts popping up. But then again, I'm not watching the stream. I'm moderating the stream and playing the game. So maybe it has been popping up. Hmm. Ah, you gotta sign in with an account. Yep. What is? Just give me yours and I'll sign in. Uh, that's the that's the name right there. Well, it needs an email address. Oh, crap. All right. Here. Uh, one second. <laughs> typing it in. Typing it in. All right. Getting set up. Just typing things in. Do -do 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 -do. Oh. No, do you have a password? Do I have a password? <laughs> because now it's logging. It's logging you in on your on your phone, not my phone. I meant to open the the account right here. Close this. Close that. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, we can't read the questions right now. Um. All right. Trying to set this up. Trying to work on this. See, it's it's logged you in on your phone. I need I need your your email address and password to log in on my phone. Okay. Thing is, I don't know what the password is. <laughs> I think I just typed it. I just entered in my account. Uh. Hang on, we're figuring this out. You graduated boot camp last week and now you're being sent to Fort Polk? Help? Uh, nothing I can do to help you. That's on you, man. Shouldn't have joined the military. What did I tell you? <laughs> what did I tell you? No one takes you seriously when you say that. So now...
Okay, we got to do this. Doop a doop a doop. Doop a doop 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 doop. All right, password. All right. Oh. Okay. All right, now I'll just log in on there using the new password. Okay. Hopefully that works. There we go. You know, oddly enough, if I'd been sent to Fort Polk and I'd been part of the um, 509th Infantry, I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more because being, uh, being Op 4 would have been really funny. Getting there, getting there. All right, there. Great. All right, you should be able to access it now, hopefully. Great. <sighs> All right, Mike, keep playing. Okay. I will keep the audio turned down. We got lights now. It's fine. I'm gonna crank down the master. There we go. Three hours later. No, don't worry. We're, we got it. We're going. We're going. Thank you very much, Kimmy Boy, for the $10 donation. Uh, oh, yeah. He asked about the, about, um, about doing, or lending his voice to New Vegas mods. Uh, and yeah, there's a lot of different discords you can join. You can just find, like, Discord mod, or uh, certain Discord servers. There's people in there that would love to have different voice actors. Also, if you can, just like try to minimize the amount of things in the room for, um, try to minimize the amount of things in the room that make extra noise. Nothing really kind of, no, for me, nothing takes me out of a mod faster than when I'm hearing someone talk and I can hear their fish tank in the background going. Yeah, you can do noise reduction filters on the, uh, if you upload the files to your audacity. Yeah. Thank you very much, Chef, for the $10. You've been in my comfort content for a while now, doing my best to catch up on the series. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, Roma, for the $20. I really appreciate it. And thank you to Archer. Or, or what? I'm sorry, Arc Charger. Good Lord. Free, in the, free, in the, free gun on the top of Doc Mitchell's dresser. Hell yeah, there is. Thank you for the $10. All right. Thank you, Mr. Faxums, for the $110. Thank Goodness. you very much. Thank you, thank you. Unless it's American weird. Oh, yeah. See, okay. Uh, Spooky Iguana Boy. Yeah, I'll agree with that. If, if it's American weirdo, I'm willing to let some of it slide because his mods are really funny. And it's kind of funny just hearing a fish tank in the background of American weirdo talking. <laughs> like also, an action big props to anyone that has like a speech impediment, but is still just like, no, I'm, I don't care. I'm just still going to do voice lines. I don't care. Yeah. I really miss American weirdo's mods. Yeah. But I think he's moved on to bigger and better things actually doing some game design. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, thank you, Proudpaw, for the $10. Thank you for the years of great videos. Thank you for watching the videos and the donation. Thank I still, you. I still can't believe people say they, they fall asleep to our videos. It sounds so crazy to me, considering how many times we've screamed just random on the randomly loud noises we make. But I'm glad y'all do. I don't know how you can fall asleep to this, but, I mean, you know, whatever. Um... Thank you very much to meet the dinner. You guys are always, uh, thank you guys for always making me laugh even at the darkest times of my life. Three of them always been great. Also, any thoughts on playing Baldur's Gate 3? I have already played the first two hours and it seems really good. I'll probably play a bit more of it on stream. Mike really likes it. I couldn't really get into it. I, did, I don't like turn-based games. Yeah, the combat is difficult for me to get into. I've, I've never been a big fan of the combat of that kind of style of game. Even Dragon Age... Origins, which is a similar style RPG. I, it's, it's difficult for me, but I put up with the combat that I'm not good at because I like the story and the choices. Uh, thank you very much to Brandon Young for the $25. 
Any long-term sub goal or Patreon goal for face reveals? I am not planning on doing a face reveal anytime soon. We already have a face reveal on the channel. But we do already have one, and it's when it's uh, when we were like a like little little baby kids, little high got, schoolers. I got a video on my channel of me when I'm like 19 years old. That's or I, with an image of me when I'm like 19 years old. So if you go on my channel. You can find that video in there. I've been trying to equip Doc Mitchell's gun here, but I remember you can't equip anything until you get out of his house because they don't let you murder him before you leave the door. Uh, yeah. Well, don't kill Doc Mitchell. I'm not going to, but that's why they, that's why they implemented that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi. Oh, uh, hello. Goodbye. I Who the hell was that? I modded out all the other pop-ups that say DLC added, DLC added, but yeah, one of the um, New Vegas Bounties ones are still there. And, oh, and also the... Um, and there he goes. This one is from the New Vegas, uh, that library, the uh, the big one, the one that people ask us to play that mod. A lot of talking in that one. Is it? Uh, is it? Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's the new. It's the mod that takes you to Hypatia and you do the stuff and yeah. I don't know what it is. You have a six-page essay on the essential writings of Machiavelli, mainly focusing on the prints that's due tonight. Wish me luck. Well, good luck with that. Um, if you need any help with it, just remember. Uh... Oh, I got something. I got something. Um, Break into your teacher's house and then rob the, the book that has no! all the answers. That, that would be the real Machiavelli thing to do. That I forget to remove the ESPs and ESMs. No, I turned off all of the mods, but there are still some optional uh, manually installed plugins that I did not turn off. So <laughs> still a couple of mods that are technically activated right uh, now. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the $5 from Pastel Furry, who specifically said... That it's furry and not not fury. <laughs> I, I, I got his name wrong. I'm really sorry about that, pastel furry. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Scoobs. Hey, Zoic, Scoobs. Zoic Scoob. Thanks for the hundred dollar. Thank you very much for the one hundred dollar donation, Scoobs. I really appreciate it. Uh Zach. oh my God. Thank you, hand sanitizer. Twenty seven. Uh, because for the two hundred dollars, recommend buying steel tubes from Valmont. I don't, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're plugging your company in the donations. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I shouldn't have read it out loud. Maybe it means something. Well, thank you very much for the two hundred dollars. I really appreciate it. Thank you to Nate LM Two ND for the ten dollars. Uh, Angus Wilson for the 10... No, no, I'm sorry, that's $100. Thank you very much, Angus Wilson, for the $100. Mike and Zach, streaming together for charity. Even easier to donate than ever. Thank you very much, man. But thank you. Uh, Curie Snowcloud for the $25. Thank you. And, uh, thank you, $10 from a weird leg problem. <laughs> hey, you know, at least I got something out of it. They named something after you. There you go. Yeah. You may not uh, have a library named after you, but you got a weird leg problem named after you. It's called Weird Leg <laughs> Problem. Will the stream be available as a VOD later? Yeah, it'll be available on YouTube under the Lives tab. Please advise me on what my first handgun should be. Note that I live in California, so take that into account. And by that, I mean pity. Uh, Glock. Glock 17, Glock 19. Either one of those two. Yeah, sure. Either one of those. If you want your first handgun, I usually, I, I need to make a video about it, but people always ask, what do I get for my first handgun? And I just say Glock. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid doing as many gun questions as possible, specifically because this is for the American Heart Association and they probably don't want me talking about gun shit. Yeah. If you wanted to ask uh, Zach about gun questions, he streams on Twitch regularly, so you can check out his Twitch. Yes, please do. Um, thank you to ten, or thank you to P90 Gobert for ten dollars. You guys' stories about how bad being in the military can be helped me realize what I wanted to do with my life. Thank you very much. Was it join the military? <laughs> I hope not. Uh, thank you to Rock Isn't Dead for the five dollars. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the unmodded Fallout New Vegas stream where I just grabbed this gun. It's uh, it's this isn't unmodded. <laughs> What did what what the hell is going on? Yeah, I'm not talking about guns. I'm not talking about guns right now. I'm not doing it. I know I, you're trying to get me. You're trying to get me. I no, see it. No, no, I'm not doing it. I just picked it up and started firing. I don't know. Yeah, I see that there's a bunch of stuff wrong with that Mauser, and yeah. I'm not gonna say anything. I mean, no, that's fine to me. Anyway, it's like that Mauser. That Mauser looks like it was in the pool because it's shrunk. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's a grower, not a shower. Don't use Twitch, it sucks. Well, if you want to watch me, you'll probably have to watch Twitch. 
Or watches uploaded VODs onto his secondary YouTube channel where he puts his streams. Thank you very much to Dementuz for the $30. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you to many years of glorious videos and here's too many more. And a good cause. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Uh, also, thank you very much, Zircon, for $5. Recently noticed Park Ranger Zach's voice went from a half-baked Professor Fink impression to an um, actually <laughs> voice. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess it kind of did, didn't it? No, uh, maybe. Did, did, did. I don't know. Uh, thank you to Jasp for the $10 donation. I really appreciate it. So, uh, while you're answering uh, questions from the people that have been uh, donating, I'm going to do a little speed run and try and get to Vegas as fast as I can. Is Mike, gonna get, Mike are you going to get to Vegas as fast as you can? Yeah, I do a little speed run. Why not? Will. Thank you very much, Crybaton, for the $50. Uh, I got to final exam my first semester in game design production tomorrow. Wish me luck. Good luck to you tomorrow. And thank you, Lyndon, for $10. Help me through my British Navy career. Well, uh... Thank you very much for the ten dollars, and I'm glad that we were able to help you. That. Are you still allowed to have? Uh, you still allowed to have um, uh, beards in the British Navy? I feel like you're still allowed to have beards in the British Navy, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I know I there's one branch of the military. There's one branch of a foreign military. Um, let's who who said that? Lyndon. Lyndon, if you if you if you can answer that in the in the, in the chat, that'd be pretty great. In the British Oh, Navy. the donation overlay isn't showing. Oh, thank you for the heads up on that. I don't know how that got turned off. Um There's the overlay, right there. Oh, I think I accidentally moved stuff around. Uh, Shit, I'm sorry. It's that was okay. Me. There we go. There we yes, go. Yes, you can have Dude, I am so jealous. Lyndon, I'm so jealous that you can still have beards in the British in the British Navy. What, you're gonna join the British Navy? No, it's just like I wish I could have gone through the military and not had to shave. That's basically it. I'm just lazy. Yeah, I had to shave twice a day or else I got yelled at because my, my facial hair grows in so thick generally. My facial hair grow, grew in so slowly when I was young that I, I had to shave once a week when I was in basic training. That's how slowly my facial hair grew in. The, oh, so even having a beard wouldn't have been much of an option for you, huh? No. We Thank raised 2000 Thank you, everybody! Wow! I wish we could change the goal up there, but I can't figure out how to do that. We're, I'm just happy it's actually working properly now. Uh, I, I thank you very much to USS Enterprise for the $5. I really appreciate it. We both really appreciate it. You two always make me laugh. Thank you very much, man. When is Zach streaming next? When does he normally stream? Uh, usually I stream Saturday and Sunday. I'm trying to stream more because I'm trying to get to a partner. Yeah. And I stream on Fridays. <laughs> All right. Now for the hard part. Maybe I'll be streaming again soon. We'll see. Have I ever thought about traveling to outside of the U.S.? I have thought it thought about it several times. I would like to do that. Yeah, nice to take soon. vacations. Absolutely. How we doing? We're doing all right. Doing good. Doing fine. Just heading off to Vegas. We're going to take a trip to Vegas. We're going to go to Vegas and we're going to look at stuff. We're going to have ourselves a time. I was going to go to the, um, the not outside of the United States. Hi, Chomps. Hi, hey, Chomps. How you going? doing? Well, where was the death claws come from the quarry? How about that? After Why that, can't I hear him talking? Because I turned the audio down so I could listen to you talking instead of listening to them. You can still hear them talking. I mean, I guess I could. You don't, have, I, you don't have to turn I mean, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. You can turn it back up. I, I could, yeah, really sure. I don't care. Um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. ADHD. It's a wonderful, and by wonderful, I mean fucking horrible thing, and I hate it. <laughs> I hate having ADHD. Don't wait to save? Yeah, this is probably the best time to save. So, why does the U.S. military force their soldiers to shave? Uh, so you can wear a gas mask. Not that you do that very often. I think I may have worn a gas mask twice that's, the entire time. That's literally it. It's so that you can wear a gas mask at any point. That's why pre-World War I and pre-the invention of the gas mask, <laughs> all of the, all of the like, pulp uh, magazine heroes were all these big burly dudes with huge beards. And then post-World War I, they were all big burly dudes with no beard and maybe a mustache. I see. Because you can't get a proper seal on a gas mask if you have a beard. Are we allowed to have mustaches? I guess you. I guess we yeah, are. Yeah, you're allowed to have mustaches yeah. in the military. It's been a long time since I. That's why you get so many people in the military with a dirt stash. <laughs> it's been so long since I've been in. I forgot all the different dirt stashes I saw. Yeah, we're sneaking around. We're sneaking around. We doing a creep. Uh oh. 
Should have put more. How, what, are, what are the stats that this character has? I don't really know about that. How, how is the sneaking doing? Well, I mean, you could just start the game over. Good. Sneak is at 23. Yeah, well, that should be enough, right? Thank you very much, Brendan. Can't say, wait to see what you and Zach have planned in Fallout. Nothing! We have nothing planned in Fallout! Plans? We're doing this. We're pulling it by the seat of our pants. We're talking about plans. Mike's probably going to die a lot, to be completely honest. What, right here? Or in, in our series, or what? Yes? In, in this. In this. Oh, oh, in unless, this? He meant, unless he meant, like, for our series. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming that's what that, that was the question, was asking. Yeah, saving is for people know. that don't have faith in their abilities. I got this. Here we are at Black Mountain. See, Black Mountain is safe. Ish. It's kind of safe. Oh, wait, something's attacking you. Oh, there it is. Hey, Deathclaw! It's okay. Mike's gonna die. No, no, stop. There we go. We're gonna sprint. We're gonna sprint. I keep on hitting the crouch button by mistake. Ah, oh, I died. Okay. I have to relearn how the controls work here. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you very much to... Uh, Zero the Kitsune. I love you guys' content. Been a low point in my life. But great videos makes the day better. I hope the charity event continues to go great. Thank you very much for the 69 LMAO nice dollars. Nice. I got some pro strats going on here. Let's get that donation out onto a tray. Nice. <laughs> Thank you very much to Civilian Dan what? for the $10. Do yeah, you have a job? Mike, do you have a job outside of YouTube? Uh, you should... Editing the YouTube videos is my job now, thankfully. Why did you attack the quarry worker? I, I provoked them. Why? So that the death claws can be distracted. Chumps. Oh, his name isn't Chumps. It's apparently a quarry worker until I actually talk to him. Huh. Get him. Get him. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm actually going to get killed by the quarry worker instead. Yeah, you will. Goodness gracious. Thank oh, you to Israel Sanchez. I, I totally for forgot. The, There's no sprint button on the controller. <laughs> I forgot about that. For the $10 hello from New York. Love watching you guys go on awesome adventures in my most beloved games. Thank you very much. You know, you also my... said go Navy, so no, not, not thank you anymore. <laughs> no, my, I'm just kidding. My plan was to abuse the sprint mod, but I can't because I'm currently playing with a controller, so I can't outrun the death claws. Not that I would have been able to in the first place, but it would have been a fun thing to try. Zach, if you or Mike got gifted a free sports car or muscle car, what would you two pick? I have a whole list of cars that I really like. Mike, what would you pick? I would pick the most expensive one and then resell it and then use the money for more altruistic purposes because I do not need a sports car. Um, I would pick a Lancia Delta Integrale or a 1969 Ford Maverick or a 1974 uh, Dodge Challenger. I would take a, a brand new Hyundai Santa Cruz. I would take one of those. Um, uh, 2011 Cadillac CTS V wagon. That would be really nice. Late 1980s Fiat Panda 4x4. I know that's not really a sports car, but I like it. And also, you could get me one of those for less than the cost. You could get me like five of those for the cost of one sports car, to be completely honest. Mm. Um, ooh, a 1985 Audi Sport Quattro. That would be pretty great. Oh, oh uh, you know, I would also take an M1, uh, M1117 Guardian. That'd be pretty cool, too. Basically, any 80 or 80s or 90s car that's uh, that's a box, I would I would be really happy with. I have a lot of cars that I really like. You know, it's been a while since I've gone this route towards Vegas. Is this an actual speedrun tactic? I, oh, I guess I still am at Black Mountain. Anytime I, I think of the Navy, you just imagine me going, in the Navy. <laughs> yeah. You know, I forever imagined that Death Clock Quarry section as being an impassable section, like a like soft, hard, impassable. Oh wait, there's Death Claws. Yeah. Yeah, there they are. Still a bit of a choke point. Still a bit of a choke point. How do I feel about the high power reload animation being wrong in this game? It doesn't really bother me that much. Like to be completely honest, usually, uh, usually reload animations and stuff don't really bother me. I just want to play the video game. Yeah. Yeah, the Scorpions were not intimidated by my empty gun, unfortunately. Uh, what do you mean they weren't intimidated by your empty gun? I was waving it around, but they just didn't care. Thank you very much to Allura for the $25. And thank you to Drake Vanders for the $10. As an owner of a Mark 23, a myth I've heard is you can run 45 Super and other hot loads through it. You cannot run 45 Super through it, but you can run 45 plus P. That's what it was designed for, was to run, like, really high power 45. 
But 45 super is its own thing. Plus speed means overpowered. Uh, yeah, like 40, you, 45 super is actually like a different cartridge in itself. So no, you can't run 45 super through it. As far as I know, anyway, I could be wrong. Somebody might just be like, no, Zach, you're wrong. I designed the Mark 23. My dad designed the Mark 23 and I'm going to get you banned from Xbox. You know, when I do that, he's like a little turtle. What the turtles in the half shell turtle power. I look away for a second and you're turning things into even more of an abomination than it already was. <laughs> yeah, I'm helping. Talking about guns again? I can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> Have you guys ever played any of the games in the Hitman saga? I recently started playing, uh, is it Hitman 3? The Hitman World of Assassination trilogy. I recently started playing that one. Because um, I, I played one of the previous ones and I didn't really care for it that much. But I'm talking about, like, when I say previous ones, like the PlayStation 2 Hitman games. So I didn't really care for them that much. And then I played one of the more recent, or Hitman World of Assassination, and I was like, Oh, I get it now. It's just a puzzle game where the solution to the puzzle is murder. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. I like this. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, thank you very much to... Potato Man! Will I fix my gyro jet, please? I have three sticks of butter. Uh, I don't know if I can. Thank you very much to Ralph Lucas. For the ten dollars, I really appreciate it, man. So I've aggroed some death claws, but it's fine because I'm still on the high ground and they can't get to me. I'm still looping around. It's not a hard. Name something I like that isn't a Whoa. gun. Uh, 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 uh apples. Tanukis. Uh, it's tanuki. Uh, guns. Ah, damn it. <laughs> uh, firing pin, retaining pin. Ah, it's not a gun. It's a component. All right, we lost him. Have we played a Titanfall 2? I, you know, I haven't played Titanfall 2. I know people, that's like a universally loved game. Um, I, I should like look into it at some point. Work at criminal evidence at an agency. I had to watch four agents try to figure out how to put together a Barrett M82. Goodness gracious. There is a, um... There's a there's a, a local chain of stores that I worked for when I was in high school. I'm not going to say the name of the stores. Don't say the name of the stores, Mike. Uh, okay. Um, there's a local chain of stores that I worked for when I was in high school that at one point they... So I in the United States, you can go to Walmart and buy guns. Like they just sell guns at Walmart. And for a brief period of time, the store that I worked at was like, you know what? Yeah, we'll sell guns again. <laughs> So they got like hunting gun. They got a bunch of hunting firearms in. So like hunting shotguns and some like small bolt action rifles, right? Yeah. What did you do? I'm playing in first and third person at the same time. Is that second? Th is that second person now? I'd have to be somewhere in the middle. I'm multitasking. You're. you're I, I think if I were first playing, and you're first and person. If I were in second person, I'd be playing from the point of view of the person getting punched. This is first and third person. Man, that would be a weird game. I don't <laughs> like the sound of that. We anyway. did that in Skyrim. We were second. You were playing second person for a while. So for a brief period of time, they decided they were going to sell, they were going to sell firearms. Um, and one day I came in and they had a bunch of guns in the back that they were trying to figure out how to put together because they had to put them on the shelf. And they were like, hey, do you know how to do this? And I'm just like, uh, yeah. So I basically spent the entire day disassembling and reassembling firearms to put them out on the shelf. I just wasted the time. I just wasted time basically. Sure. It was fun. Thank you very much to Anonymous for the $25. And Boxhead for the $10. Your videos oh, make yeah. me laugh and audio content makes my job bearable. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. What fire would I recommend for a shooting range newbie for a good first experience? If you're talking about a rifle, then a Ruger 1022. If you're talking about a pistol, um, honestly, again, Glock. That's going to be the most reliable. It's going to work well for you. You'll have fun. My Thank new you. quest is to dance on everybody's body. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much to Zircon for the five dollars. Love you. See you guys play Red Dead Redemption Two. If only to see Zach talk about the extremely well-made period guns in the game. I, you know, I would love to play Red Dead Redemption Two. I just have kind of a hard time getting past the uh, the intro to that game, which is like three hours long. Oh, is it? 
<laughs> the snow part at the beginning of Red Dead Redemption 2 is so long and I'm so lazy <laughs> and I just don't want to do it. I just want to ride around on horses and say howdy to people. Oh, I'm being attacked by feet while I was like, while I'm dancing here. Just stop dancing! I can't! I got the fever! I got dancing fever! <laughs> it's okay, the NCR's gotten, gotten me taken care of. The NCR's got my back. Play Pal World? Uh, Zach tried it, didn't much care for it. I didn't particularly care for it, but that's because I don't like survival crafting games. And it reminded me, Pal World reminded me entirely too much of, uh... Pal World reminded me entirely too much of... Ark. Ah, uh, Ark Survival. I couldn't think of the name. I, I, don't, I don't like Ark Survival. Uh, it reminded me too much of that, and I just wasn't really having fun. And also, I don't want to be mean to the friends. I like them. They're little friends. Yeah. And you should be nice to them. And I don't want to be mean to them. They're all very cute. I played the entirety of Red Dead Redemption 1. I uh, haven't gotten around to playing the second game, though. I, I remember beating it and thinking that the first game, thinking it's really good. But, yeah, haven't played the second one. Too busy dancing here in New Vegas. <laughs> Mike, you should... You know what the goal should be right now? Well, the to goal, stop, to the, stop dancing, yeah. The goal should be to stop dancing, but you have to dance on every discoverable location. <laughs> so go There's, back go back to the very start of the game, and you got to go to every discoverable location. You have to dance there for five seconds. But there's 180 locations in the game. Well, we better start working then. All right. <laughs> Here we go! Let's start dancing, shall we? Oh my god. Speed Thank you very much to Nightingale. Oh, to Clone for the $10. I really appreciate it, man. And thank you very much to Nightingale. I really wish there was a better way for me to read these, but it's fine. Thank you very much to Nightingale for the $25. Dancing for the garage. Hey, look who's alive in this universe! Yay! Aw, she got the mismatched skin tones. Oh, who's well. Who's that? It, you don't remember her? No, it's, I don't know who that is. She's the girl that we talked to, and then she died out here, and we couldn't figure out why. Do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? <laughs> <laughs> How's it doing? Can I talk to you? Yeah, her name's Volt, that's right. Um, Thank you very much to MF Jack for the $25. Really like World Rally Championship? I do. Any rally games that I could recommend? Um... Honestly, the rally thing they just added to Forza Horizon 5, not just, but the rally thing they added to Forza Horizon 5 is fun if you want a more arcadey rally experience, but if you want a more serious rally experience, uh, I'm not sure, and I have played Art of Rally. Art of Rally is a really fun game. <laughs> oh. uh, also, thank you for the $2 to Zach's anim or from Zach's Anime Girlfriend. Oh, do I have an Anime Girlfriend? I think it would just be my wife. <laughs> is your wife an anime? Yeah, my wife's an anime. Is it true you spend all of your YouTube earnings on high point carbines? Yep. Also, thank you to Psycho2K for the $5. Thank you very much, man. Just want to say thanks for all the laughs throughout the years. You're doing great here. Thank you. I don't want this robot to talk to me, but I think it's going to talk to me. Probably. Ah! Oh, the PlayStation, the PSX Colin McRae Rally. That is actually a really good rally game. Should look into Armored Core. I actually really like the, the most recent Armored Core is really good. That's a lot of fun. I really like it. I'm the thorn. Thank you very much, Papa Longlegs, for the $10. Nobody's got legs that long. Not even Papa Longlegs. He had some really long legs. Hence <laughs> it's the name. The name. <laughs> Uh Okay, I should probably stop going quite so fast. Maybe. I think you should just start a whole new game and just play the game uh, normally. I don't really have uh, any plans for what we're doing right now, but... Let's just start, just start playing it, make a new... Start a new game! I can't, I'm too busy dancing! No, start a new game! Oh, my neck broke for a second Yeah, see your neck broke, your character's dead, you gotta start a new game. I can just load from where I left. I haven't actually gone to any of these loading screens yet. New game! There we go. Is your is your walk speed still incredibly high? No, it's not. Although I don't. Hey, did I show you this? I don't. I may have shown you this. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you very much fighting. to. Oh goodness! Thank you very much to Orca for the three hundred dollars. Welcome to New Vegas, he says. Zach, Thank you I, very much, man. Thank you. 
Did I show you this sec that we still have these save files from Hunter from Oh 20- my god. 2015. There you go. You could load that fucking save. I could. The original, like, <laughs> right here outside of Wasteland, Prim. Where are we at? Where are we at? What's, what's a good save file to load? It's also dark. I can't see what's what. We'll see if this breaks everything. Kind of. Kind of. Did it just did it just absolutely break everything? There, there you are, there you are, Hunter. We found you, Hunter. Oh my god. With that outfit you started with, no eye patch this time around. And also the mic companion isn't here because I worked on that and it's got a new a new uh, file name, I think. But there you are! This is the original Oh, can I load from like the most re- most recent save file for Hunter? I don't know, can you? There we go. By- the Bison Steve Hotel apparently is one of the last saves we were at. What is love? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, who's? Oh, hey, it's Beagle. It's Deputy Beagle, whose voice actor I remember, and now I can't remember. Talk to Deputy Beagle really quick. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the audio up so you can actually hear his voice. Oh yeah, that's Kaz from Metal Gear Solid, uh, from Metal Gear Solid 5. Oh, I still have to play that That's one. the voice of Kaz from Metal Gear Solid 5. Somebody pointed that out to me on my last stream. I was like, why do I recognize this guy? And they pointed it out to me on my last stream, and I, I was like, there is no way that that is Kaz from Metal Gear Solid 5. And I looked it up, and it's Kaz. It's just, it's good old Kazuhara Miller. Kazuhara, boss, stop doing what you're doing because I'm a party pooper Miller. <laughs> yeah, I haven't gotten into that one yet. It's on also, the list, but it's thank kinda... you very much, Doomquer, for the ten dollars, Zach and Mike. I want to thank you both for years of laughter and insanity. Plus, wish you a successful okay. year. What would you say is your favorite foods, Mike? What's your favorite food? I do eat a lot of pepperoni pizza and chicken. He likes fried chicken. Yeah, fried chicken's pretty good. Chicken strips, things like that. Why are we still here? The bread and just chicken. to suffer. Yeah. Just to eat chicken wings. I love chicken. What's my fa- What is my favorite food? Uh, bread. I just, I like things with bread. Ooh. Apparently you have the All-American, I guess. Uh, this, the gun with the scope on it. That's uh, not the All-American. The All-American's got a custom texture. Uh, yeah, I think, it, well, it just says All-American on it. It's the Marksman Carbine. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Marksman Carbine, all right. Uh, hey guys, love the campfire stories, especially from your time in the military. I work public affairs for the Air Force, Chair Force, and can definitely ah. relate. I, I am sure you can. Remember Kazuhiro's Burgers? Oh, the burgers of Kazuhiro Miller! I remember those. What is the cash on delivery thing? Well, it started off as its own thing. Like, if you want to know the history behind cash on delivery... Yes, tell them the history behind cash on delivery. Yes, so we got... uh, Back when we were traveling... Oops, get rid of that. Uh, Back when we were traveling with a companion named Vincent Vincent, he has a perk that pops up when you're at low health. So, um, even though we weren't traveling with that person... They were stationed in Novak or whatever. We still had their perk. So every time we took enough damage, it would pop up. Cash on delivery has been added. That's why That's why you. That's why it's always the punchline for whenever something explodes, you take a lot of damage. Ah, oh, cash on delivery has been uh, added. Cash also, on delivery has been added. Uh, and then since then, I turned it into an item that you can equip that summons the mic companion. Hello, mic companion. There Hello. Is. Follow me. And uh, now we're traveling. Cass is the voice of the medic in TF2. Is he? Oh, yeah. I guess he is. Oh. Huh. Did not know that. Damn. He puts on a very thick accent, so I can't really tell. Well, yeah, because the medic's a really thick German accent. Yeah. What is... uh In America, is pizza or burgers more popular? Honestly, it's probably a tie. They're both very popular. I think they used to be equally popular, but it wouldn't surprise me if pizza's gotten ahead of that. I don't know. There's a lot of places that are doing, like, gourmet burgers now, so who knows. That's true. Do I think I'd have a better time in Alaska as small repair than Polk? Uh, you know, I don't know. I probably would have liked the scenery in Alaska more. Also, there's moose there, which would have been neat to see. Yeah. Um... Yeah, maybe I would have... Maybe I would have liked it. I didn't see any moose when I was in Alaska. All I saw was a billion mosquitoes. 
but maybe it's yeah, there's a lot of mosquitoes in Alaska. People I, don't really know that. I will, it really depends on where you go. Because it's all fucking swamp. Alaska is a big, and a lot of it is a swamp. If you go to the mountainous areas of the city, it's not that bad. But if you if you go to the swampy areas, it's a swamp. Thank you for the one dollar from Ed Mario. It's Ed Mario. Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, let's go, everyone. Do, do the, the Mario. Mario. Thank you, everybody who's donated so far. That's crazy that yes, we blew it out of the water. Thank you all so much for all the wonderful donations. Anything you donate is incredibly helpful. You are under absolutely no obligation to donate whatsoever. Yeah. However, we really appreciate it. Yeah. And it's... like we said, anything that you're donating is going to the American Heart Association. Yeah, it's a good cause. Absolutely. My companion looks like Revolver <laughs> Ocelot. Uh... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Cop. Well, I don't know where he went. Uh... There he is. Found there him. He, I kind of... Maybe if I gave him a mustache? I don't yeah, know. I, he, would need a, he would need a big old mustache. Yeah, absolutely. When you want to you you see Anne and I play through Ratchet and Clank... Oh, Zach and I play Ratchet and Clank? Yeah. I don't know if Zach is as big of a fan as Ratchet and Clank. I think people just want you to talk about all the different goofy guns. I, I don't really know what I would say about them. They're all like, like fantasy guns. They're really based yeah, on anything. They're all like fantasy made-up guns. And usually when they're like fantasy made-up guns, it's like I don't have a whole lot to say about it. It's just like, okay, yeah, it's it's weird. It's it's weird looking. It's a fictional gun. Um, some of my favorite Ratchet and Clank guns are the ones that spew lava and liquid nitrogen. That's kind of fun. The four-barrel missile launcher, you know, we've been seeing us play that uh, in the Fallout games. Someone made a version of that. And I've, been, I've been having a lot of fun with that. Uh, thank you very much to Lyndon for the $10 donation. Thank you. Uh, Lyndon is the one that was in the Royal Navy, and he said, Beards have to be trimmed to fit a gas mask and firefitting EDBAs, which I'm assuming is like a, a type of protective equipment. Um, Royal Marines have mustaches and army RAF. I wouldn't know personally. Uh, okay, what's my opinion on the SA-80? I don't really have a whole lot. To, I, I have one experience with the SA-80. Um, my only experience with the SA-80 is the L85A2, I want to say. It was... No, it was the A3? So whatever the one was that had been updated by H and K, uh, I was in an airport at Biop, which is Baghdad International Airport, and there was a group of British military there. I don't know if they were Army or Marines, whatever the case is, and one of them had the new L eighty five that had the uh, the whole rail system on it. That uh, and it had been updated by H and K. If you, Mike, you, I'm sure you don't know. The L eighty five is widely regarded as one of the worst service rifles of any military I of the 20th aware. century. I didn't know. It's pretty fucking bad. Ah. Had a lot of problems. Um. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, one of them had an L85, and I was like, oh, damn, an L85. Hell yeah, that thing's really cool. Can I take a look at it? Because, like, I'd never I'd never gotten to see one before. And he was like, oh, that'd be, that's really cool. Yeah, here, I'll, if, if I, if, if I can look at your M4, I'll let you look at this one. So I handed him my M4, and he handed me the L85. And my first thought was, fuck, this thing is heavy. Because it's made entirely out of steel. Unlike the M4 or M16, which is made out of, like, aluminum and steel. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim. Yeah, he's going to Prim. Um, yeah, and then when I, so I was, like, looking at this L85, I thought it was really heavy. And then when I looked over, there were, like, six British military, like, all fighting over who got to hold my M4 next because of how lightweight it is. <laughs> so yeah, that's the only experience I have with the L85. Um, I from I only know from other people that they're really not great. I guess the newer ones are fine. The, they've kind of worked out all the kinks, but the British military is moving away from them now anyway. Mm. The 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 way you can know the way you know that the L85 is not great is because the average British person does not particularly care about firearms. The L85 was so bad that it was being broadcast in national news how bad it was, and it was a massive scandal. Oh my. That's how bad the L85 was. The, the average British person was like, oh yeah, the British military rifle. I heard that's a piece of shit. <laughs> like, that's how bad it was. Anyway. Ouch. Yeah. Thank you very much to Knight... Uh, oh, wait, hang on. Zitrone for the $50. Zitrone! Thank you very much thank to you. Zitrone for thank the $50. You I hope I got your name right. And thank you to Punk Rocker for the $5. I really appreciate it. 
Yes. Uh, apologies to everyone who's trying to ask questions of us in chat. We can't really answer all of them or even most of them at this point. Uh, we do stream individually on our Twitches from time to time. Um, but we're, a lot of what we're answering is... Oh, okay. A lot of what we're answering are people that are donating and also submitting their questions at the same time. So if you want uh, us to answer your question right now, it would also be a good time to make a donation to the American Heart Association. Yes. If yep. you do, uh, yeah, that is. If you donate, that it will be a surefire way that I will see your message yeah. and do my best to read it. Absolutely. Unless it's something untoward. Yeah. Then we'll just gloss over it and not even mention it. But thank you kindly for the donation regardless. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll mention the donation. But. Yeah. <sighs> you know what we should do? You know what we should do? We should pause really quick and run the video again so that people know how to do CPR. Ah, uh, yes. So for this year, for the American Heart Association, they wanted us to tell you all how to do CPR. It's one of their big focuses is to teach people how to do hands-free CPR because... Uh, uh, it's not, um, it's it, Breathless? Uh, hey, hey, Inhalation free? Hey, I don't know what you would call it. Hands for CPR. Hands only CPR is what I believe it's supposed to be I mean, called. I guess you could do CPR with your foot. It I, just wouldn't yeah. be very effective. Just jump up and down. I mean, as long as you're compressing their chest, I guess it's fine. Hands free CPR is just making out. <laughs> Paladin uh, Dance's voice actor is the same guy who voiced Wesker in the Resident Evil 1 remake. Really? Really? I'm going to have to look that up now. All right. Didn't know that. All right. Anyway, yeah, now would be a really good time to uh, to run the... Yeah, we'll do a, a, a do quick... Do the CPR lesson really fast. All right. That'll give us a good time to take a quick break. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a few minutes after this is played. After we'll these messages. Keep out reading out some donations and answering questions. Thank you very much, Anonymous, for the $10 donation. Thank enjoy you. this. Enjoy this CPR video. Be right back and there. Great. If you see a teen or adult suddenly collapse, it's important to act fast. Helping to save a life is easier than you might think. Just start hands-only CPR. The first step is to send someone to call your local emergency response number or call it yourself. Then get directly over the victim. Put the heel of one hand in the center of the chest. Then put your other hand on top of the first. Then push hard and fast in the center of the chest until help arrives. It's important to push, giving 100 to 120 compressions per minute, which is about the same tempo as this song. Let's hope you never have to use hands-only CPR. But if you see a teen or adult suddenly collapse, don't be afraid to try it. Remember, call your local emergency number, then push hard and fast in the center of the chest until help arrives. Your actions can help save a life. To learn more, visit international.heart.org. And we're back. We Hello. returned. Watching that video makes your chest physically hurt. Yeah, it's not going to be pleasant. CPR is a very important life-saving tool, but I, I wouldn't... There's a reason you don't practice on real people. It's not going to be comfortable. There's a good chance you crack a rib. Yeah. Or, or at the very least, bruise it. But it's a very important information to know. Thank you very much to Vile Rain for the $25 donation. Uh, awesome stuff you're doing for charity and great stuff you put out all these years of content. 
suppose there's a tabletop setting coming out called Fallout Factions. Wondering if you'd ever consider doing that sort of thing. Um, maybe. I'm not really sure. I don't know how we would do, like, a tabletop game on our channel. Yeah, it, we'd have to have a, a different setup. I don't even have very many cameras. I got, the, like, one really crappy webcam. That's all yeah. I've really got. Uh, thank you very much to Marasov62 for the $10 donation. Really appreciate it. Uh, Marasov, why didn't you ever, why didn't you ever let Vouchsafe drop for me when I was trying to get it out of the Dreaming City? Come on, man. Lady. Come on, ma'am. All I wanted was Vouchsafe, and it's not even a good rifle. You should have just dropped, you should have just dropped Vouchsafe for me so that I could have gotten the Wayfarer's title, but you never dropped it for me. Do you remember way back in episode six or seven where there was? I, a... I'm, just, I'm just kidding, by the way. Thank you very much, Mara. <laughs> yeah, remember when, uh, a few years ago when there was like a a door here that took us to an alternate area. It was a room that was added by uh, Welcome to Hell, I believe it was. And you came out here and you took a drag off your cigarette, your um, e-cigarette, and you choked mm -hmm. on it. Vaguely. What a quest to obtain paint! I do remember that. Back in 2016. Thank you very much to IED Softworks for the $25. <laughs> we'll pay 10 bucks to let you know a little info from the total play time for the... Oh, yeah. The uh, the total play time for our New Vegas series is 8 days, 4 hours, 46 minutes, and 28 seconds. For the entire playlist, including all the spinoff series like Dust and New California? I don't know. if that's That might just be the New, New Vegas series. But thank you very much for the $25. And thank you, Pure Hoser, for the $25. Ah, you're purely a hoser. Trying to level my scope and y'all are preventing me from throwing my tools across the room. Uh, if you want a fun, um, pure hoser, uh, here's a here's a fun little bit of advice for you. If you're trying to level a scope, uh, just get a stack of business cards and then just shove the business cards in between the receiver and the scope. And then tight that'll level the scope out and then tighten the scope down and then just pull the business cards out one at a time and then you can get, then the scope will be basically leveled. Yeah. That, there you go. Yep, Sure. Fun advice for you on how to how to level a scope easily with really crappy tools. I don't know anything about guns, but I know if you're saying it, it's almost certainly going to be true. So I can just say, yep, yep, absolutely, yep. We do indeed stream regularly on Twitch. Each of us, Zach, does his thing on Twitch. I do mine. And we do play different games. Uh, I, I have played Baldur's Gate 3 recently. I'll probably play through a bit more of it. It seems like a pretty, pretty fun game, but I also do a wide variety of other games. And I've been trying to play a lot of uh, Fallout mods, even if they don't end up making it on the channel as part of our series. Uh, it's kind of a personal goal of mine to play through as many Fallout mods as I can. And Zach has been doing some fun streams on his own Twitch. You want to talk about that? It's not some of the stuff you've enjoyed recently, some of the games. Yeah, I've, been, I've been playing a bunch, of, a bunch of different random games on Twitch. I kind of just play whatever I feel like playing. I'm trying to make more videos about just whatever I want to make videos about. Hmm. Um, I had to unsub and resub to be able to chat because apparently two years subscribed is less than the required 10 minutes. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. Uh, Thank you very much to Arc Charger for the $5 donation. Can't wait to see all their funny reactions to rediscovering our takes on Millennia Guns. Hey, thank you, Arc Charger. Yeah. That is, uh... Yeah, we, we've installed a bunch hey, of Hey, and with that, we've officially passed $3,000. Whoa! I think that's more than last year. I think we didn't make 3000 last year. That's crazy. Thank you, everybody. You say we should both play Wasteland. I think I played a bit of Wasteland, too, and I couldn't really get into it. Those top-down shooters, not uh, top-down kind of games are difficult for me to get into. Who are these folks over I might, here? I might have to give them a try. Or give... Fallout 1 and 2 a try, or Wasteland, maybe. I'm not sure. Either. Hey, who are you? Over here. Who are you that- Whoa, what the hell is going on? Oh, thank you for the $10 IED Softworks. He says, yes, that's the full playlist. So that includes everything. Oh, all right, cool. Glad that's Mike, now the Powder Gangers are mad at you. The Powder Gangers are mad, and they killed whoever this merchant- Why are these merchants at- Oh, AK-74, thank Why you. do you have an AK-74? Uh, because apparently they just dropped it. I don't know. I'm not going to complain about it. I, I got- Thank you. Why the, did he have an AK-74, but the icon for the AK-74 is an AN-94? Oh, oh, because it's difficult to make a custom icon for every single gun. Yeah, that's a firearm right there. 
Yep, that's a gun. What did Aliens Colonial Marines do to me? Lots and lots and lots. And it's not what Aliens Colonial Marines did to me. It's what Gearbox Software did to Aliens Colonial Marines. Yeah. And therefore, by extension, me. Vampire Booba Game? Yes, Vampire Booba Game. <laughs> uh, vampire... Was it... What was the vampire... Vampire Mansion. Vampire Mansion, yeah. yeah. It's confusing because there's Vampire Mansion, but there's also Vampire Survivors, and, and I, I get the two of them messed up all the and time. And I want to say Vampire Masquerade, Masquerade Bloodline Oh, yeah, Chronicles. there's also that. I don't know what I'm doing out here, just kind of wandering around. It's all good. Oh, scorpions! Don't worry, my 24 bullets from my AK will save me. I should not have aggroed him. He was peaceful. No, that was a mistake. Get him, my companion! Kill him! Kill him before we both die! Why is it chambered in 5.56? Five, five, uh, because they're not going to make a whole bunch of brand new calibers just for this game. Or they did, and then it's a different mod. When you have a game that doesn't have 5.45 by 39 in it, it's kind of a pain in the ass to, re to reprogram a gun that you made for the game to be in 5.45 five, five by 39. It makes it you say I should, update, uh, I should update the add-on. You're right. I also might not have the, up I might not have the update currently active because I tried to... Turn off a bunch of mods before we began. Try to do a kind of an unmodded thing, but uh, some of the mods slipped through, including probably the base file for the the guns. Thank you very much to Heavy Trooper for the ten dollar donation. We were shooting M triple seven howitzers live. After twenty rounds, we saw a moose run across our gun line at Mock Jesus, just not being phased <laughs> by five feet of snow. Yeah, they don't care. Moose do not care. Um. You're an armor for your battery, and it's great! I don't know, the, the way you wrote, it's great in all caps, leads me to believe it, it actually is not great. Well, Zach, I've got good news. What's that? I found another one of those toasters. Oh, you found another toaster! And also a trailer full of Brahmin. Oh, poor, poor Brahmin. Poor me. <laughs> Thanks, Billy. Coming from the north. <laughs> Thanks, Sergeant Kilborn. Thanks, Sergeant Kilborn. I thought you were I thought you were Malcolm Holmes for a second. I don't know why. I'll be going now. Watch yourself. Because he also likes to interrupt me while in the most inopportune times. Thank you very much to Annoying Limey for the ten dollar donation. You two remind me of the YouTuber's two best friends play. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. I've never considered that to be a negative comparison at all. Where's that list? Where's that note we got? There's Caliber X for new ammo types, but it's outdated and a pain to bring up to modern standards. I should know I've tried. Yeah. Nah. Oh. Why would you be a jerk to a giant murder robot? Nothing to say. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> and okay. And then Billy killed him. Thank you very much, MF Jack. For the $25, Mike uh, started first ever playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3 last night. Chose to play as Dragonborn Ranger. What is your first impression of Baldur's Gate 3, Mike? Uh, first impression seems really good. It seems like the kind of game I could definitely play a lot more of. Uh, not a big fan of the combat. Very complex. It's definitely something I'm going to have to spend some time studying to play, which is never a, an appealing prospect when it comes to a game. I like to be dropped into it and just have, start having fun, but it seems... Yeah, it's 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 one of those really in-depth D and D RPGs, and it's gonna take some time for me to figure out all of its different systems. From what I understand, Baldur's Gate is basically Dungeons and Dragons, the video game. So it's, I'm sure that if you haven't played Dungeons and Dragons, you can get into it. Um, I don't know if that makes it like a barrier to entry. Oh, it sounds like my my uh, my mod is still installed. One Yay! It's him. Uh, thank you, Nos. Oh goodness, I don't know how to pronounce this. Nos for Rock Two. Nos for Rock Two for the ten dollar donation. Uh, I really appreciate it. You don't know how to pronounce Nos for Rock Two? No, it's Nos for Rock Two. Oh, it was, okay. It was, it was a pun. spelled differently, so <laughs> I wasn't sure how to. Play, how to <laughs> I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Zach plays Destiny. I used to play Destiny. I don't anymore. Yeah. I've gone on many, many a tangent about why I don't play Destiny anymore, and uh, we don't need to go on it right now. Basically, I used to play it, and I don't, and I won't. 
Sure. Ooh, we're here at the uh, NCR, so they're playing NCR sounds, it sounds like. Also, apparently the game is very quiet yeah. for everyone. Not in a good mood right now. It's probably still very quiet for Oh, everyone. yeah. It still is very quiet. Hold on. I didn't realize it was this quiet. Apologies, everybody. Don't make them demo. Uh. Sorry. Sorry. There you go. I'm not in a good mood right now. Yeah, so this is the companion. Not I keep on calling companion. This is uh, a character from the mod that I made uh, what, a year or two ago for New Vegas. You can download called Mike Burn Fires Quests and NPCs. You should download it. It's a good mod. There's like 10 or 15 uh, quests you can find strewn about throughout the wasteland, including this guy who wants your help finding his caravan cards. Yeah. See ya. I got you guys into the or I got you into the Resident Evil series, and now you're addicted. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's a good series, you know. It's not consistent, but it is a good series. It has a time moments, absolutely. <sighs> is NCR Zack stationed here? He was. I don't know if he still is, though. No, I don't think so. I didn't mod him in, and I don't think the Mike Friend Fire Companions mod for, by Fuse is on right now. And uh, I don't think... I don't think NCR Zack is... Stationed here. Is he? Maybe. I remember the first time I played this game, I thought Hello. Ghost was super cool and I really wanted to go on <laughs> adventures with Ghost, and then you can't do anything with her beyond talking Caravan to her the first time, and it made me very mad. Yeah, there's a lot of fun characters in this game that you want to travel with. But then that was also back the first time I played this game when I was like, wow, these people are cool, I want to travel with them, and now I don't want to have companions ever. <laughs> yeah. It's changed a little bit for you over time. Thank you very much, PV... Uh, oh, hang on. Thank you very much, Private Goose, for the $10 donation. Thank I you. really appreciate it. Do either, of us, do either of us play any fighting games? Um, I used to play them more. I've kind of been thinking about getting back into Tekken, just because it looks fun. The Tekken 8 just came out. Yeah, Tekken 8 just came out, and that looks kind of fun. There's some neat characters in it. I really like the characters in fighting games. The problem is I kind of suck at fighting games, and I'm not very good at them. I'm also kind of a sore loser. Yeah, when we're playing Overwatch, yeah. you, you get upset about that. I get, I get kind of upset if I'm not, like... Having a good time. Uh, if I'm not, like, actually making improvements... Yeah. I the last fighting game that I played outside of Super Smash Bros, I don't know, maybe it was Virtual Fighter 4. It's been a long time. I'm not into fighting games generally. When I was in when I was in college, one of my roommates had been a had formerly been a professional uh, vi uh, video game player. He played um uh, it doesn't matter what game he played. He'd been a professional video game player like for money. Like, in the competitive scene, and nice. I played... Uh, he was one of the reasons that I would not play um, Halo against him. Well, I wouldn't play Halo against him because it was just not... It was just me dying repeatedly and uh, not actually doing anything. Yeah, tell him to turn the difficulty down. Uh, no, it's it's him being really good at the game. Oh, and then the other one was competitive, uh, I was, see. Yeah, so, yeah. I thought you were talking about the co-op campaign. No, he's a competitive video game player, and then I, I can't play... I couldn't play games against him. And then also, um, Soul Calibur. I basically couldn't play against him because it was just not actually uh, winning ever. Just repeatedly dying and then me not learning. Yeah, that's just not fun. It really is not fun. And that's not fun for me. I don't like it. Yeah. You play video games to have sad. fun. I gotta find a way to get more ammo. Normally I just cheat it in, but it seems like I shouldn't be doing that. But just start a new game, man, I'm telling you. I, I did start, start a new game. I just, how many times do I have to start a new game? I don't know. Every hour, start a new game. If you haven't beaten the game in one hour, then you can start a new game. All right. Do the revolver I'm... reload sprint thing. Was that about revolver reload sprint? Do the, the revolver reload sprint that speedrunners do. Do that. I gotta like jump in the air. Hit F5 to save. Hit F7 to load. You gotta, like, load. bind two buttons together. It's a pain in the ass. And catapult myself over to New Vegas. Yeah, you just, like, launch yourself in directions very quickly. 
Thank you very much, Sebastian, for the twenty-five dollars. What in blazes? <laughs> Fair. Really appreciate it. Have you considered using a Waba Jack mod list for one of your playthroughs? Um, I don't know what that is, but if it involves uh, if it involves whatever his name is, I don't particularly care. Shio Gorath, and I'm pretty sure Waba Jack is just the name of a, a playlist that they gave for uh, a bunch of mod improve a bunch of ah okay improvement mods. I don't like Shio Gorath. I know you don't. How's it going, Victor? Let's let's have some fun. Let's let's shoot at each other for fun a little bit. Howdy, Hi. partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Thank you, thank you. Happy trails. Either of us played RimWorld. I have not. No. I've heard of it. I haven't played it. I don't know if we can get up here, but I'm gonna try and get up here at Doc Mitchell's house. <sighs> All right, Mike. Go start building the. Go start building the the um the school. The school. Yeah. Go start a, doing that. Uh, I think I don't think I. No, no. That that. Oh, uh, that, uh, was that uninstalled? Yeah, Dean's repair is not uh, not there. Also, uh, when you and I played that mod, Edgecomb repair, mm -hmm. a, a lot of the ingredients you needed to make that house, that player home, were around Good Springs because mm -hmm. I made them around Good Springs. Yeah. Normally they're not. Normally they're out there in the world. You got to go find them. Yeah. So that would take a lot of time. I did it. I jumped down the roof. What do we got over here? Thank, Thank you very much. Uh, a... Nuss, a nuss, <laughs> uh -huh. for the tw or the fifteen dollars. Uh, were dinosaurs a pre-war thing or a pre-pre-war thing? I don't know. I don't think anyone will ever know, actually. Yeah, I was gonna show you the red line, but I'm not sure. You know what? Sure, I'll show you the red line. How, what does it use? My computer cells. All what right. What is the red line? It looks like the icon is a pancor jackhammer. Yes. Ha ha! Very funny. Micro fusion ammo. Player to add. Item. Mike's cheating. I am. Don't tell mom. Mike's cheating. So yeah, this is. So I was. Arc, I think Arc Charger, Arc Charger told me about this gun. And I thought, oh, it's kind of cool. It looks kind of you know for a Pancor Jack Jackhammer. It's not bad looking. It's got mm -hmm. nice red paint on it. Mm -hmm. And then I fired it. It's like, all right, so it's an energy weapon Pancor Jackhammer. I might enjoy that. But it's uh -huh. like it's a Pancor Jackhammer that crashes your game. Oh, do I, I gotta reload it? Hold on. You don't have any ammo for it. I don't know. I, I, Why are you I, trying to crash the game? I, I, hold on. It, it was Microfusion Cell, right? It's Microfusion Cell. I gave myself Microfusion Cells. Why don't I have Micro... Oh, it's Robot Cells. Dang it. Ah, uh, you gave yourself the wrong item. I don't have... I'm not a robot. I don't benefit from that. Mike's cheating, you guys. There we go. All right. It doesn't look like it's crashing anything. No, it it, it, do, it doesn't do it immediately, but it will eventually. <laughs> well, why are you doing it? All right, all right, I don't have to. I thought it was cool. I, I played around with it for a bit. I'm like, oh, this is really fun. Maybe I'll take it on my journeys. Maybe I'll have a, a fun time with it. But then my, like, the game started, the frame started slowing down, and things started breaking. And it's like, all right, I gotta, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't. It doesn't crash. It just lags. Yeah, it depends on where you are. Sometimes it lags real bad. Right now, I'm not getting any frame drops, or maybe I am. Thank you very much, the Grubbernaut, for the $10 donation. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you very much for contributing to the charity. Good cause. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of cheat pistols over here. It's the cheat chest for all the weapons. Why is um, that up there? Dare bullet wealth. Uh, dual American ambition. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, no ammo. So you have dual double barrel 1911s. What does that use? 45 auto. When will the next gun cleaning stream be? I don't know. At some point, we'll figure it out. All right. That's very silly. There we go. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 we're all good. We're all fine. Yeah, you can strike up a few bullets. It's fine. Did you piss off bad motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, I did for a second. 
Uh, luckily, he did not chase me down. Yeah. What in tarnation? What, you like my guns, Pete? Check them out. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Well, how am I supposed to check out the ammo? I can't, uh, I can't throw a third arm is all. All right, let me see. Okay. Whoa. Uh, load from on top of, uh, like, uh, I made a save right there. Or you want to do, like, our, uh, Wait, wait where, where's where's two bears high fiving? Where's the right there. there? Great, that's the that's the starting save. Bird. Everybody knows about these birds. They're always here. Uh, yes, a, a pit boy's picked up a unique radio signal. Ah! All right. Mike and Zach play Cyberpunk. We already did a video on the channel. I think we did. Was it, maybe it was a stream. We, there was a video of it on the on the channel. I don't really like Cyberpunk. Yeah, it, we, we played it during the release window. It's probably uh, a little different these days. Cheyenne, stay. No! Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Uh, okay. Well, that's fine. Um, I need to go to Prim. Sure can. Take the road south and out of Prim. town until it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss I it. I love roller coasters. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. What's a hostile wildlife? My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Give us your gun. It'll help us survive in the desert. I don't, I don't want her gun. She needs to keep her gun. Uh, yeah. Doc Mitchell said that you could, uh, you could help me. Wait, hang on. I forgot that I'm, I forgot that I'm like a, a fake dick. Good. Doc Mitchell said that you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. I don't know how to get behind the saloon. I've been shot in the face. Just gonna follow her, I guess. Where's a delicious newspaper for me to eat? I love newspaper. Don't steal them. I'm gonna eat all the newspaper and nobody's Howdy. gonna stop me. Hey, there's a new store in Freeside. Oh boy, new store in Freeside, let's go! Screw this place, screw the tutorial. Let's I'm go going to Freeside. To Freeside. Free side, free side, free side, free side, yeah! If you want, you could also bring Buddy Chicken with you. It's, it's Where's Buddy Chicken? Where is he? He's kind of sitting out there in front of Goods. Where? I bet right, we walked right past him several times. What? Oh, there he is! I see him! I see Buddy Chicken! <laughs> Buddy Chicken, I love you! Kind of thought you maybe want to bring him, but I guess ah! if, you, if you don't, we can do Buddy Chicken! Oh, it's a fission battery! Oh, no! Oh my god, okay, so this is really important. We have to find the fission battery. Where would those be stored? I don't know. Thank you very much, Ad Money, for the ten dollars. Ad Money. Ad Money. We've got to add money. We've got to add money. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I can do that. Oh, I auto equipped it. Hell yeah. Get a nice view of your thumb right there, your wrist. That's great. I have got just an absolutely amazing grip on there. Thank you very much, the grubber knot for the $20. That's the right There idea. we go. Look down the side. Try crouching down and staying still. Okay, I'll crouch. It'll help your aim. Ah! Okay. Nice shot. You know, she doesn't care if you get up close to person. You can start shooting those bottles from point blank. Well, that's oh, yeah, start. I know. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. No, I need a fission battery. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Will there be a buddy chicken? Zach, there? you have to do this, otherwise you're never gonna become idolized in in Good Springs. Uh, fine, we gotta get idolized Follow in Good me. Springs. It's just down to the southeast a short way. Hey, the first time you played this game, did you save that woman down by the well or did she die? You remember? Um I don't I don't know, actually. I know it's been many a year since you did this. I really don't remember. I feel like she probably died because I didn't know that you could save her. Probably, yeah. Probably felt like it was uh, in uh, unavoidable death. Because I didn't know that she'll just do that. Sonny, go around the building that was modded in. What are you, stupid? That's, that's always not there. There's a fission battery that was guaranteed to spawn in Freeside. Player dot add item fission battery. Also possible if you want to do that. But that's see, cheating. We're not cheating. See, if we were smart, if we were smart, what we should have done is set up a thing where every time someone donated it, added a thing to our game. Oh, yeah. See, I was thinking about that, but uh, that's 
I don't think they've retroactively added that to New Vegas. It's available for things like Fallout 4. They, there, there you go. Skyrim. Oh, yep. She's getting stuck. She figured Thank out. Thank you very much, Mr. Jellybean, for the $25 subscription. And he says, mmm, chip. She did a little dance. She had a little fun. She's getting down tonight. Mmm, mm -hmm. chip. I just want to hang out with my friends in the Cretaceous period and eat hot chip. Find two batteries in Vic's house. We'll have to go to Victor's shack. Oh yeah, Victor's shack does have garbage lying all over it. That makes sense. I think. Uh, I think. Um, I think she might be broken. Oh dang it! We don't have the push mod on this one. No, I think she's broken. What's going on, Sonny? What? what you, Sonny, what are you doing? Why are you being so indecisive? Do we have to use the rescue gun on you to bring you to where you gotta go? Because we could do that. It's very odd. Oh, maybe it's talk to her. I have no idea. So, welcome to what we do the majority of the time we're playing games for the channel. See? You're getting the hang of it. I didn't even shoot There's at anything! There's two wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. Oh. It'd be worth a few caps to me. She was trying to head back to her spot for whatever reason. Shouldn't take more than a couple more minutes. Ammo. More ammo! More ammo! Oh my god! Mm -hmm. More 22 long rifle! <laughs> Sonny, you're, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> Sonny! Sonny, where are you going? Thank you very much for the ten dollar donation, Sebastian. How? Sunny is broken. How does this happen? How does this keep happening? It's because I'm playing the game. Everything all right? No, everything. Is, I ran out of ammo. Yep, I'd say you're getting a little trigger happy there. Try to slow down a More bit. More ammo. Concentrate on hitting your target. More free okay. ammo. Go easy on it now. Ammo can be hard to come by out here. Oh, I got! Oh my god, I got so much! I got so much twenty-two long rifle now. I got a full <laughs> box of it. All right, let's go kill these geckos. Okay, go over there, kill the geckos, then come all the way back and report back to Sunny. Smiles like she, she's sending out a bounty. This is a this is a bounty mission. Oh, is that what it is now? Yeah, it it's must be. Yep. Bounty mission. Bounty mission. We got a bounty. If something broke the nav mesh there. I guess so. Yeah. This is this is to be completely honest. This is probably about. 75, 60, 60 to 80% of, of Mike and I's recording sessions is why is the game breaking? It's breaking again. I'm, I'm tired of it breaking. Make it, make it not be broken. I feel like that is quite a high number, but it has been happening a lot recently. It's been very frustrating for uh, Fallout 4 and New Vegas. We had, uh, we we're playing a mod for each one of those and uh, they were not perfect. They were not. Hang on, guys, give me a second. I'm reloading. Coded correctly. Can you stop for? Can you stop for a second? There you go. Thank you. Thank you, geckos. Big iron on your hip is uh. Well, it's right not there. really a, on my on my. It's. Hip. I mean, it, you're you're not hip firing it, are you? You're aiming down sights. Uh, thank you very much, Aven13, for the twenty-five dollars. <laughs> it's too late, Michael Burnfire. I've already got my forklift certification. <laughs> nice. Oh, no one can stop me now! Someone mentioned if you want a fission battery, there's one on Doc's porch. <laughs> there is one on Doc's porch. Wait, no there isn't. Yeah, there is. There's the... Oh, hey, we saved the lady! Good job, us, apparently. Ow, god! <laughs> Damn it. Zach and Falling Off Ledges, name a more popular duo. I'll wait. <laughs> wait, hey, I think we did it. Watching Zach fall off ledges. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted Thanks. to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? No, I'm not interested at all. Okay, say no more. The crafting system is all great. Now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never Thank forgive you, me. Thank you, I know why. Hey, do me a favor. For Trudy, the she's the bartender she up at the prospector. The channel, boys. Kind of Thank the town you. mom. She likes to meet newcomers. Okay. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. All right. Cross? Like the Legion? The <laughs> Caesar's Legion? She's an undercover double agent. It's weird because they hate women. Arch Charge, you say a stream to fix Oh, th I thought this was her dog for a second. <laughs> and I was just like, no, Cheyenne! <laughs> A stream to fix Mike's mod installs. Yeah, it's kind of what we've been doing when I've been streaming Fallout on Fridays. Thank you, Heavy Trooper, for the $8 donation. Uh, really appreciate it, man. You say it's not Fallout New Vegas if it's not breaking. Well, Fallout New Vegas is normally the most stable game that we play of all the Bethesda games. Oddly, yeah. Fallout, we have less problems with Fallout New Vegas than we do with Fallout 4. Yeah. Fallout 4 is more glitchy and buggy than Fallout New Vegas is. But we unfortunately played a, a mod that was, let's be honest, it was unfinished. The voices weren't finished. I had to get a voice pack for it. So there were still some issues and there was also just bugs that appeared for whatever reason this time around. 
Speaking, speaking of, of it being really stable and fixed, <laughs> speak, it hurt us talking shit. <laughs> it, hurt, it hurt us talking nicely of it. Fallout New Vegas is just me where people start praising it and it goes, no, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm out, I'm done, I'm leaving. Your expectations are being set too high, I need to lower them a little bit. <laughs> all right. Oh, man, <laughs> I gotta do all that again? I gotta do all that again. Yeah. <laughs> Can we try the Tale of Two Wastelands? I keep hearing people recommend that, and from what I can tell, a Tale of Two Wastelands is just Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas are the same game, so I'm not interested. We've already played through Fallout 3 and New Vegas, both of us. I mean, we didn't do like a series of Fallout 3 on the channel together, but is that just what you want? Do you want us to play Fallout 3 on the channel? Is that what you're asking? No, they want us to do podcasts, now, Mike. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the Yes, I see the sarsaparilla bottles. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Take a break from playing Fallout 4 and Skyrim to do a 100 episode nice series shot. on Tale of Two Wastelands. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you can right, me to learn to the fight speed run the tutorial. All right. Tell you what, thank you very much. I gotta much. go chase Friendly geckos away from my water supply anyway. Down critters are attracted to it. For the $10 donation. To come along. Love your content. Hope you'll be watching it for years to come. Hope so. Follow me. Would you like to put the phone on the side so we can both see it? It's just down Thank you. All right, so now we're gonna follow. Why do I want to call her Trudy? That's not her name. Because <laughs> she's one of the few residents in town. That's I don't want to call her Trudy. Sloom, there you say nice screensaver. Ah, that's not a screensaver. It's one of the default backgrounds for Windows 11. So once you eventually upgrade to Windows 11, that you'll be seeing that a lot too. You don't have to upgrade to Windows 11. You don't have to, but they're gonna make you. What mod made the Varmint Rifle use 22 Long Rifle instead of 556? Five, five, I don't know. What mod is that, Mike? Does it use 22? Is that is that a mod? In the base game, it uses 556. Five, Wait, no. Is it just the Rat Slayer that uses 556? Five, five, I I think so. Because uh, I don't think I have any conversion mods that make that do that. Thank you very much, Winchester1894, for the 1337. Maybe it's Yanaguchi's fixes? Uh, Watching since episode 40... What are my thoughts on Gundam? And do I do we have a favorite mobile suit? I do have a favorite mobile suit, and it's Tall Geese. And I have not seen Gundam, no. Also, any of the Leo models. I really like the standard issue mobile suits in Gundam Wing. Falling off a ledge. I really like the standard... Trudy, did you fucking teleport over here? Hey, you called it Trudy again. Hear that up Sunny. on the bridge behind me there? We got some Base game is 556. Five, okay. Bunch of little monsters. Um, yeah, I really like the standard Seems issue like mobile suits in Gundam Wing. Gundam Wing is probably the one else. that I like Let's the most, but it's also closer. the only one that I've watched the if entire video. If we move video. quietly, uh, we can get so the jump Tall on Geese them. Geese 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 is my favorite one. I really like the Leo mobile suits. Tall Geese is technically just a highly modified Leo. Okay, you're on. I like Jehuti. Jehuti is pretty fun. That's 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 not that. Oh, that's it. That's not. Gundam. It's not Gundam, but it is, it is a mech. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> Never heard her laugh like that before. Oh, that's it. Deranged ah. smiles laughter, huh? Deranged, and then just like an incredibly high rate of fire. Just like what? What are you? What are you doing, Sonny? <laughs> ah! Well, that's the, <laughs> the courier. <laughs> Why is he? Did he fucking kill Sonny? No, he didn't. Okay. Why was he hostile towards me? He was. He was shooting Oh, it's because I was. It's because I was giving me the prompt to search him. Thank you very much to Ragin' Canadian for the $25. Y'all are doing Bahamut's work. Keep it up. Thank you. I don't know what kind of work you think you're talking about, but I'm definitely not doing Bahamut's work. If I was doing Bahamut's work, then I would be, I don't know, finding a way to set buildings on fire or, like, poison the water hole. I don't know why. I don't know. You know, I really don't know why Bahamut talks like that. What's it inspired by? I have no idea. See? You're getting the hang of Thanks, it. Thanks, Sonny. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. All right, sure. Shouldn't take more than a five, couple five, minutes, six by especially with two of us. Come with me. Oh, thank you, Raven Bloodbane. Thank you for the donation. The overlay is popping up. I can see that. Hooray! The $24 donation. Thank you very much. Uh, greetings from Canada. Hey, that's two in a row from Canada. That's weird. Uh, if I could design a gun from top to bottom, making it the greatest weapon in the known universe, what would it be? I, I don't know. Can I name any guns that I outright hate? No, because then you'll try and throw them at me the same way you throw the Pancor jackhammer at Zack. 
but outright hate the Pancor Jackhammer. I hate that everyone goes, Zach, Pancor Jackhammer, Zach, Pancor Jackhammer, Zach, look, Pancor Jackhammer, look, Pancor Jackhammer, Zach, Zach, look, look, Zach, look. That's really annoying. Yeah, I that also... really, really annoying. Yeah, I, I don't have any guns that I outright hate because I'd have to be passionate about firearms. I just don't. So, nope. Blood, that's weird. Whose blood is this? Blood, that's weird. That was from one of my streams. That was when I was playing the Trash Horror Collection. Oh. And I just, I just kept, I just kept inspecting a thing and it just going, Blood, that's weird. I see. Uh, where did Sunny go? Where did Sunny side up go? Did she, did she start walking back to town already? Is she, oh. Is she down there protecting that? Oh, maybe she's down there protecting. She's saving that life. Teach you to mess with me. Yeah, she saved the life. Sounds like Did she? It. Oh, she's still alive! She lived! I think Sunny may have helped her out. Yeah, there she is. Alright, great work, Sunny Smiles. Good hustle. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land play and making useful things for yourself. Service, and that's why Interested? My, I named my M16 Piper. No, I joined the military in 2004, man. Fallout 4 hadn't even come out yet. <laughs> Thank I named you. it Piper because I like that name. Thank you, IED Softworks. Thank you for the $15 donation. And I didn't have a girlfriend. So, because most people named their M16 after their wife or girlfriend. Really? Or, or mistress. That seems... <laughs> that seems odd. Seems odd in a lot of different ways, that mistress part. Thank you, IED Softworks, for the $15 donation. Really appreciate it, man. All right, all right. So now we will go back. We'll get the uh, we'll get the fusion battery and install it in Buddy Chicken. Why did you name it Piper? Is it just because I like that name. That's literally it. I like the name Piper. I know. I was. I knew the answer. I was just asking because someone asked the question in chat. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's I, I named I named my M16 Piper in basic training because I liked the name Piper. I thought it was a, a a nice girl's name. Yeah. So I named it Piper. Also, your gun is made out of pipe, so it kind of fits. I mean, technically, yes, a barrel is a pipe. Yeah. It's a pipe. It's, it's, not, a, it's a tube. Made out of pipe. You watch us every night with your girlfriend, eh? Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy what we do, Aiden. Sunny did something. I must not be in hard mode. Yeah, we're not. I don't think we have hard mode turned on. No. Definitely, we definitely don't have hardcore mode turned on. You say Fallout 3 wasn't even released in 2004? I'm pretty sure that was. No, I don't think Fallout... Uh... Oh, wait, in 2004. No, it came out in 2006, I think. Yeah, Fallout 3 came out in 2006. Uh, fusion battery, or fission battery, fission battery, fission battery! Ew. Do I remember Mike's rifle's name? I remember that he named his rifle after its serial number. Yeah. I don't remember what it was. Five three, uh, six three five three six three five one four three nine, 635139 is, I believe, the boot camp one. And then I had a different number that was uh, for... The, the one that was issued to me in trading. I know that the M4 that I had in Iraq was Whiskey 411357. Why'd you name it that? That's, was... that's not what I named it. That's what its serial number was. The, oh. the M4 I had in Iraq, its serial number was, was, was Whiskey 411357. Whiskey 411, huh? Five, huh. Do they all, I guess they all start with W's then, huh? Uh, not all of them. It depends on the manufacturer. Buddy Chicken! Shove the yes! battery! Buddy Chicken! Up, up the Buddy Chicken butt. Meals on wheels perk added. Hey, Buddy Chicken controller. Wait, no. Uh, I have to drop Buddy Chicken first. Gotta figure out where he is. Yep. There it is. Uh, where's Buddy Chicken? That's your clothes. Might as well drop that on the ground. Where's Buddy Chicken? Ah, right. <laughs> that's that's not Buddy Chicken. That's the Buddy Chicken controller. Oh, it must be in miscellaneous then. Are you sure it's not the controller? Oh, wait, yeah. That, <laughs> that, it summons him. Yo, Buddy Chicken! Friendly beeping. All right. Dance for me, Buddy Chicken! Woo! <laughs> gotta teach him some new dances. This is getting... No, it isn't! It's perfect! <laughs> Let's go, Buddy Chicken! Oh, hell yeah. Spread your love throughout the wasteland. Now I gotta go say hi to Trudy. Come on, Buddy Chicken. Wait. Hey there. Oh, that's a random lady. Hey there. I thought it was Trudy for a second. I was really confused. Thank you very much, Anonymous, for the $10 donation. Thank you. Howdy from over in Italy. Uh, wait, hang on. I'm going to get this wrong. I'm going to get this wrong. Bonjourno. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjourno. 
Like I said, I speak Italian second best. <laughs> I'm done being nice. If you don't get bon over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Oh no, look out, Joe Cobb, you're about to Look out, Joe Cobb, you're about to get assassinated! Did you accidentally kill Frank while you're in the house? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've made him a huge mistake. This rifle is not very effective. Well, now we are gonna have some lateral damage as bullets start flying and you hit Frank. Hang on, Joe Cobb and I are both reloading. Buddy Chicken, get him! Get him! You can do it! How? Pew! Pew, pew, pew! Okay. I'll, get, I'll get you, Joe Cobb! This is what you get! For threatening the good people of Good Springs! Take him down, buddy chicken! Go for a cycle. It's over, Joe Cobb! I have the high ground! Get out of the school, yeah. Oh god, he has the high ground! <laughs> You're equal! Like You're on equal footing! Yeah, yeah! I don't know why you felt the need to kill Joe Cobb. You could've killed him later for other quests. Too bad. Because it's fun to kill him first. All right. Also, I wanted his gun. Alright. Okay, everyone, it's safe to come out now. There totally wasn't a gunfight at the bar. Look at him go. You out of your mind? NCI yeah. has guns, Frank. Meanwhile. Guns. <laughs> There's more to war than guns. Yeah, like grenades and explosives. <laughs> NCI's got in those the bathroom. Too. You guys, you guys <laughs> have fun in there. <laughs> this is the ladies' bathroom. <laughs> that's exactly well, what Well, the men's bathroom is out of order. Look. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Hi, Trudy. Yeah. I hope you didn't just bring a heap of trouble down on Good Springs by killing Joe Cobb like that. His friends might come looking for him, and I don't think they're gonna care who was involved in his death. Who knows? Or not. Maybe we'll switch it up a bit and kill well, them too. What's done is done. So, uh, what can I do for you? I don't know. Uh, what you got for sale? I'm sure I've got something you like. Um, you got anything good? You got? You don't have anything. What was that argument all about? You know, the one with the dead guy. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Bail quest. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Politics in the Bad bathroom learned all the lies. <laughs> place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. Thank we didn't very actually much. expect uh, anyone to come after him. Norsk of Norge. Your Sky Skyrim series is what my partner and I watch while having breakfast. And the gun rants are our go-to nothing to watch videos. <laughs> Thank you for all the content. Uh, they want me to ask to stop, or Zach to stop leering at the Frost Atronax. Make me! <laughs> it's, like, I'm not leering, I'm a stare, I'm, I'm not leering, I'm gazing respectfully. You're appreciating I'm appreciating bounty. it! Just, I'm just saying, if I was shaped like that, I'd want people to look. What is Buddy's jingle? Uh, the Entertainer, I believe. Oh, yeah, it's the Entertainer. Yeah, where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Uh, what are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. What? What is, what is a powder ganger? We're new Chain in town. Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It is if you like fun! It was fun. a big escape not too long ago. Mike likes Some to of them stuck together stuff. so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. This is unmodded New Vegas. I, that's got a decent amount of mods. I just don't remember exactly what there are. I tried to unmod most of them, but there's a lot that were just kind of intertwined with the code of the game at this point because yeah. they've been installed for so long. Yeah. Never mind, I want to talk about something else. All right. Um, I'm, I'm trying to find the people that attacked me and by association, Buddy Chicken, where, who are they? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. What a jerk! And it hasn't been working since. I can fix it! We'll kill him, too! I don't care about your radio! No, I'm just kidding. Uh, where did they say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Will we cover America Rising 2? I will probably stream that before I consider doing that on the channel with Zach. We also, we also have not played America Rising 1, so, you know. Uh, why? That I whole area is overrun Rising with the kind of critters that just get we? mad yeah. if you shoot them. Because there's a lot of them out Merchants there? avoid no. that whole stretch of I-15 like it's I radioactive. Think it's an of a line which it could be oh. for all I know. I'm sick of the Enclave, though. I, I know. <laughs> so I'll probably take a peek at it and see if it's something that you would be willing to set aside your disdain for that group to do the mod. 
It's not necessarily that I have a disdain for that group, it's that I am just tired of everything being revolving entirely around the Enclave. I know! And the NCR. Because we've been doing this for eight years, yeah! Where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the Strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. I can fix your broken radio. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. That's just that's caps the, you know, you just you. described me, Trudy. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. <laughs> Actually, no, the and outside that Mr. New Vegas okay seems either. like such a gentleman. Hey, if you got buddy chicken, everything's okay. Be careful out you there. You watch my caravan video Kill and you beat every and base your character family before you Excellent. even think to shoot it. Shoot what, Frank? They're hearts, Bill. Okay. They're hearts. Speaking of hearts, if you feel like donating to the American Heart Association, the link is in the description and also in the chat. Pin there. Howdy. I fixed the radio. I fixed the radio. Yeah, Joe Cobb. The entire reason we're here for. Yeah. I'm going to throw you into the ceiling fan. Oh, it's, oh! Not, it's not a pizza box. Don't do that. Joe Cobb goes directly into the ceiling fan. Yeah, you're going to break their ceiling fan. It's Fine, already, we'll put Joe Cobb here. It's already powered by hopes and dreams. Joe, come on. We're going to the bathroom. Dick, you can... Go ahead and be dead in there. Right up, right up the place, all you want. There you go, Joe. Have fun in the bathroom. Oh, damn! That couldn't have been more perfect <laughs> than I tried! Holy sh... Wow! Well done. Marvelous. Excellent. That was perfect. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Fix your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done Thank tinkering with it. Thank you very much, it. SG Here's some caps for the work. Bun for the one hundred dollars. Oh, hot diggity daffodil! Thank you for all the last over the years, and here's too many more. Thank you very much. Also, us singing War Pigs is one of your favorite moments. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, it's a good song. Enclave Mike and Zach are the most sane Enclave members. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sim settlements too. Haven't tried it yet. We'll probably, I'll probably stream it sometime this year. Just That's all. I think you can afford to pay me a little more than that. Look, buddy chicken, and then I hold up buddy chicken, and I'm like, <laughs> see, look, 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 look. We'll trade you this buddy chicken. No, <laughs> buddy chicken's mine. I could get another working radio with the caps I already gave Why you. Why didn't you get another now, working radio? I'm spending right, some of those caps right now. All right, fine. Uh, also, who's that robot? I know that thing Thank you very much. as much as anyone yeah, else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which Thank is you. just fine by me. Well, you don't like you don't like the you don't like the robot. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. <laughs> you feel like this playthrough is like John Mulaney's "I'm New in Town" and it gets worse. <laughs> I don't, is that a, I've not seen that special. I guess. What does what the actual what does the robot actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Uh, uh how long has he been here? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Thank you, uh, friendly Nanachi, for the five dollars. Forgot to ask last time, will you guys be playing Fallout London? Yes, we will. That comes out in like two months if it adheres to the release date it's set. Yes, I'm I'm actually interested in playing that. Will we ever make our own mod? I already did. Mike has made some of his own mods. Be careful out there. You should look into them. You can find them on buddychicken.tv. <laughs> Buddychicken.tv. Buddychickendatabase.net. You can find him on Alta Vista. <laughs> no, you can find him on the Fallout Nexus. The companion made is the companion mod is not made by Mike. The companion mod with Zach and Mike is well, I guess the companion mod that's just the base the basic companion of Mike. Yeah, I guess that is mine. But there's also a companion mod made by Agent Fuse that adds Mike and Zach as characters you can recruit and have following you, so you can go on journeys in New Vegas with us, and we'll bark out a couple of funny lines every time you kill things. Sometimes I say funny stuff. Uh, thank you very much to Kayla for the $10. Thank you. Oh. I think the, uh, I think the micro robot is, is still behind the Vendertron. Let me out! Let me out! Oh, let me out! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's where the micro robot was, right? It was, yeah, in that general area, yes. No. That's <laughs> close enough. <laughs> Who are you? And what do you want with me? You look very silly, Ringo! <laughs> 
that Nikki Cola pays him to walk around with that sponsorship on his back. Yeah, it looks very, very silly. I'm not an enemy. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? Hell no, we ain't playing you know caravan! Play? Nah, that'd be a good way to show people how to do caravan, yeah. No! We're not gonna play you until we find more cards, though. Unless you want to play him in caravan, and I then could. I and then I talk about stuff. I could. I'll best him in caravan. Yeah, let's play a right, game fine, of caravan. Here. You play him. In, you play him in caravan. What are the rules of caravan? I have no idea what I'm doing here. It's a two-player game. Thank you very much, game. Jacob Anastasia, for the ten dollars. Ratchet and Clank might Don't not work. Worry. Maybe the Sly Cooper trilogy would be an interesting playthrough. I do enjoy that trilogy a lot. People ask about that a lot because you know the main character is a raccoon. But I think it's one of the best stealth games that's out there. 134 caps. We're going. We're going for broke. Why has he got a bunch of legion mo legion money? Oh yeah. Well, he's a merchant. He crosses into legion territory from time to mm. time, I guess. Okay, yeah. If he's a merchant, then it would make sense for him to have legion money. What cards are we gonna play with? Well, definitely get all the sixes. You gotta be. You a lot of fives, didn't you? Sixes. Sixes. Six. I gotta, uh, put Mike a five is in somewhat there. aware of how to play this game. Yes. Hey, Joe. Gang's looking for you. Let's play Caravan. I had to learn how to play Caravan at a high level if I wanted to be that Caravan mod because the person who programmed that game also made the final boss, like, really good at Caravan. I mean, isn't the way you win at Caravan you just make your deck entirely sixes? Uh, sixes and tens and, well, I mean, that worked for the majority of the, the tournament that I was in, but once I got to the final boss, even that strategy wasn't enough. I had to really learn how to play. And also, in this game, it, it, it's just starting off now. I don't have all the cards I need, so it's going to be difficult. Will we ever see my face? Probably not. Faces are overrated. I mean, you can see there's you can see it in, like, when I was 19 and when I was, like, 16. There's a couple videos of that. It's on the channel, yeah. Yeah. Was I a 91 Fox in the army? I was never officially a 91 Fox. I was only ever a 45 Bravo, but they're the same MOS, so yes. So yes, I was a 91 Fox in that I was a 45 Bravo, but when I got out of the military is when they changed the MOS. My, I was so good at being a 45 Bravo, they had to retire the jersey. Ho, ho, ho. It's... And it definitely wasn't for bureaucratic or logistical reasons that they changed what the MOS was. I don't know what the Jokers do, but I mean, I need two more cards, so there we go. We can play some Caravan now! Alright, Caravan time! Let's go! Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby! Um, you know, hand me some cards? Oh, oh, okay, there you go. They're, they're a little faded. So All now right. Mike's gonna play Caravan. Yeah, we're gonna play, we're gonna play some Caravan. Ten. Alright, alright. It's fair, it's fair, it's fair. My face is the same as in-game? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so 10 and 6, 7 and 9, 7 and 9. I feel like most people have played approximately, most people who have about 500 hours in Fallout New Vegas have never played this game, or have never played Caravan. I haven't. I'm doing it though. I'm doing pretty good, I think. The, the episode Mike did on Caravan is the most I've ever seen of ca someone playing Caravan. Oh wait, I think I may have... Yeah, may not have thought this out correctly. No, nope, I'm doing fine. 26 is the limit. 26 is the limit. Thank you very much, Cullen, for the $25. And... I win! Woo! Anonymous! There you go, baby! For Big winner! $25. Mike has won. I don't even know what happened. Honestly, I'm not... I, I wasn't aware I was going to beat it there, but I did! Yay! I, I don't know what you did, but you won, apparently. I put down two caravans. Buddy Chicken, give us a dance to celebrate. Oh, it's because Ringo finished his first track caravan, and I finished the other two, and then the final uh, score was two to one. Oh, what's your magnet picked up today, buddy chicken? Bottle caps! Yeah! And we just keep winning! <laughs> Alright, that's it. How deep is the lore of Zack and Mike? About as deep as the... About as deep as the gameplay in a standard Bethesda game. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was going to compare it to the lore of Skyrim, but no, it's, it's not, the lore of Skyrim is huge. Okay, um, I actually what still need it? to talk to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, Joe Cobb was looking for you, but I killed him. Uh, thanks, I guess. Cobb wasn't the problem, though. I could have handled him if he ever found Buddy Chicken needs a hat. Cobb's I think we gave him a hat problem. for a brief period of time, and I like well, him better without it. Yeah, he had a red hat on. For blood. 
There's no way I can. Can find I explain one. what I'm doing to figure out how caravan works? It's very simple. You just put. You gotta make a stack of 26. So you put a seven or a, a nine, whatever. You just you just put two cards down, and then you double one of them with a king. That's all you gotta do. Isn't it kind of like blackjack, but only with multiple piles? Uh, the limit is 26. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It's like it's kind of like blackjack, where the end goal is get as close as you can to this number without going over it. Yeah, it's kind of like. But it's in multiple piles. It's kind of like blackjack. Only you you have to stack the cards in order too. So if you're yeah, it's a bit more complex than that, but yeah. My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets Metal started. Metal Gear Solid? I, I do enjoy we that series, but it's hard fight. to showcase it on the channel, I imagine, because there's so much talking. I took a few yeah, of the bandits down it's before difficult. I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. Yeah, if you want to know, I mean, I, I, I don't really explain the rules of Caravan in the video that I made, episode 250. Or episode I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw but me I, to the wolves. I do wolves. show you how to do it. I do show I've you a strategy. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. All right, you need a hired gun. I can help. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. All right. Nah, I don't need payment. I won't let you stick your neck out for free. I can't pay you back now. But I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays up. You've got my word. Ah, uh, we'll loot your body. We just end up sharing the same if grave. It's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board. All right, I'll see what I can do. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Uh, oh, wait. Is Ringo wearing a park ranger hat? No, it's the different hat. It's like a little straw hat. What do you mean I need a lockpick at 25? Buddy Chicken use your high power magnet to pull the pins open. Oh man, if only we had a companion that could pick locks here. Unfortunately, we do not. Why can't I steal those nine mil rounds? I'm so used to just taking whatever I want all the time. The new character can't throw your weight around as easily. Nope, they can't just steal stuff. It's ridiculous. Is there an evil version of Mike in the Fallout 4 series? If there is, we haven't met him yet. Institute Institute Mike would be a fun villain. Yeah, maybe. Watching anything interesting lately? Have you, Zach? Have you watched anything? I, uh, no, not really. I don't watch a whole lot of stuff these days. I watched uh, Husband Hotel when that came out. That was really good. Other than that, nope, not really. No. Ma motherfucker. Oh, we, oh we're de we definitely need him. We can't bring him. He keeps on swearing every time we talk to him. All right, fine. <laughs> That's fine. We can bring him. I don't care. He's a fan favorite. Everyone loves motherfucker. Motherfucker. All right, let's go. Motherfucker. Yeah. Those yeah. See now, now we have someone that's going to help us with the uh, with the with the fight. Yeah, which is great because we don't have a whole lot of ammo or anything. The lighting hey. is really good in this interior. The interior lighting is good. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. But I did! I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Wait, but I even got did, some weapon did. mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps, if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Thank you very much, the Alaska... The Alaska Lumberjack uh, for the $10 donation. Is the Groovatron for Matching Clank? It may have been named after that gun. Also, I think I figured out why it was so dark in Doc Mitchell's house when we first started this up. It's because there's an interior lighting mod on, but I don't think it kicks in until your Pit Boy is equipped. Oh, uh, probably. So the moment you equipped it, all of a sudden all the lights got better. If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself it's mixed in. My favorite companion? The oh, it's Buddy don't Chicken. Don't mistake that for Coward yeah. Talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. All right, um, let me see what you got for sale. Can do. Let me see. Show me what you got. What makes surplus ammo inferior and why shouldn't we use it? What are your opinions on the Legion, the NCR, and an independent <laughs> Vegas? Yes, give us that information. I want a nail gun so that I can shoot people with a nail gun and go, nail gun, the entire time I'm shooting them. Did you go, no, as you shoot them? No. Um, do you know anything about the people who attack me? 
The leader was a new bloody Vegas type. Cats, it's still Typical chicken. city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Bad mother was your favorite to see us with. Take it yeah, easy. Yeah, it's now. good he's no longer in a dog's body, eh? Yep. Oh, wait, leave. I I'm probably gonna go talk to uh I'm sorry, was that a green apple I saw in there? What where? In here? Yeah, was that uh, on the right side? No, you just saw you just saw bad motherfucker. Oh, it's a TV screen is what I thought. I thought it was like a giant green apple or Oh, pepper. I can see that. I can see that. Oh, the corner of my eye I just caught a flash of it. It was weird. Oh, you can go into that door. Wanna go in that door? The mysterious black void door to nowhere? Ooh, I like the sound of that. The green screen room, hell yeah! Oh yeah, you're the bright green- Yo, welcome to the green screen room. We've got Buddy Chicken. So this is where I go to sometimes make thumbnails or if I want to do some edits, you know, that sometimes I use this room. I got to turn the bloom off though because the bloom kind of bleeds into the characters. Yeah, it makes it a little it makes it a little difficult. Thank you for the do uh, the donation. A flask which may <laughs> a flask which may or may not stack it. Thank you for the donation. A flask which may or may not contain live bees. Will you open <laughs> me? No. <laughs> I will not. I will do no such thing. Bees, oh boy! Bees, oh boy! My name's Adam Benson, and I love bees! Bees, bees! I don't think Joe Cobb bees. knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. 4K no los dos! Little column A, little column B! I'm gonna help Ringo fight, fight the powder gangers, and I'm gonna need your help. Say no more. I'm in. That was easy. Even though Joe Cobb's dead, his friends will come after the town eventually. However, really between friends. you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to Cold be reckoned horse. with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince fellow Trudy to join fellow us, former prisoners. some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. Opportunists. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite oh, somewhere, yeah, we're, we're and Chet just Pete. got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. I miss hard Talk Pete. Talk to them as well. <laughs> yeah, and Sexy Finally, Pete. I should have installed a bunch of random mods to surprise you with. Uh, so hard Pete and Sexy Pete would have been fun. Some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Well, our skills are all pretty abysmal. Don't think we can do much of anything. How do I convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. What do I think of the Nuka-Cola G Fuel? I uh, don't really... I've never purchased G Fuel. Yep, no thoughts about it on my part either. Mm, I don't think Chet's willing to give us supplies, but what do you think? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Nah. Even with the town at stake. Thank you very much, retired Fort him. Polk MP, for the ten dollar <laughs> donation. <laughs> You're an MP, all right. Have a good one. Thank you very much, man. You're MP. No, he's he's a mil like military police. Right, yeah. right. Which is a but type also MP. MP. MPs. Uh, how do I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before he handed it over. All right. I'll do that. I'll be waiting. Why? And then I like just I gotta like when like fade uh, into another room. Just I just suddenly up, yeah. like appear over here. <laughs> you just face to the wall away from him, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, what are some mods for Fallout or Skyrim that you guys look forward to seeing on the channel that we haven't done yet? Because maybe we've done them and you just haven't seen all those videos yet. <laughs> the hammer appeared before he did. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Hey, chat. Chat, 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 Wait, I will say, I wait, will say. I thought, I thought you were singing the song from that movie. No, they are very similar because um, what what's his name is in both those movies. I don't think Ju is Julie Andrews in Chitty Chitty Bang. Oh, Bang? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is not Mary Poppins. No, but but what's his name is in both those movies. I can't remember. His that's name. why I got him confused. Yeah, Dick Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke is in both of those movies. Oh, okay. So that's why that's where the confusion comes from because he is in both those movies and he basically plays the same character. I see. I, it's <laughs> not really the same character, but because he's very memorable looking. 
the, like the a, one funny thing about Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is if you show uh, if you show that movie to any Gen Xer, they will like lose their mind about how scared they are of the guy that kidnaps children. Oh. There's a dude that all he does is kidnap children. I see. And, um, th it, like, that just scares the shit out of Gen Xers, and it's really funny to me. I, I didn't know that. I, yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen either of those movies. Also, isn't that character, um, would, would you say his name was, uh, the, the New Year's guy? Dick Van, Dick Van Dyke? Yeah, Dick Van Dyke. Um, no, uh, not Dick Van Dyke. What the fuck is his name? Like, the character? <laughs> I gotta look it up now. It's not Dick Van Dyke. Um... Uh, Anyway, is he, if he, he's in both movies, so he's like the Tom Bombadil of those old-timey movies. God damn it, Mike. Just keep shoving him in different movies. It's not Dick Van Dyke. What the fuck is his name? Oh, it is Dick Van Dyke. God damn. <laughs> I'm stupid as hell. How about Havasa Blues? Hollander Casino? Haven't heard of that one. Sky Oblivion? Yeah, looking forward to that one. Yeah, some good ones. Salt Lake Stories? I definitely want to check that one out. Heard good, th good things about that one. Checkpoint Gary. Ah, combat mod. Yes. Uh, why can't I tell this guy, hey. Twice. Both times Depths I drank of the a lot of liquor North and lost Road. Ah, we just finished one of tables. Overseer's other mods. We're going to those eventually, yeah. It. If you ever get to New Vegas, Doctor Who be Vegas. sure to visit yeah, the Who mod. It's yeah, the best I want to check that one out, too. City. You won't regret it. Would you kindly Word play Bioshock? Advice. I think we've already the beaten those games. Between the NCR military games and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. But we did enjoy them back when we played them. Back when we played them when they first came out. Uh, yeah, I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers, please. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. But what if I just rub Buddy Chicken on your face? What if you give me... You, you, um, you... What if you give me the supplies or I have a bad motherfucker compact your skull into <laughs> your, into your uh, torso? I'm not sure he's going to respond with the threats. Right. Just keep me out. No, of it. I won't keep you out of it. Is there anything else? Goodbye. Take it easy now. Goodbye. Do I have anything to boost my? Uh, I got a boxing times, which helps my unarmed, but that's not really gonna help me convince him. The Forgotten City mod? Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. It turned that into an entirely on its own game. It's pretty cool. Hmm. What am I gonna do? What are we gonna do, motherfucker? Uh, let's provoke. <laughs> we, we don't need to get all the optional stuff done. We can just sick bad motherfucker on all the powder gangers. That's true. And they will die. Easy Pete, can hey. I have some dynamite? Howdy. What can Easy Mara, Pete do fun, for yeah? you? Can I have some dynamite? Too dangerous. Too dangerous. Wanna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Ah, uh, yes, but Easy Pete, how hard can it be? Just light the explosives and throw them! Too dangerous. It's not too so dangerous! Blow Give me the dynamite! <laughs> Blow your neighbor up. Blow the whole town up. Okay, if you insist! Ah, uh, fine. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned. Yeah, I know, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he moves kind of fat. Oh, he was scared of the tumbleweed. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. You never know what's inside those things, those Russian thistle weeds. Um. I'm not really going to be able to convince anybody because I have, like, no skills. What did you put your points into? I don't know. One of them was guns. You were the one that built the character. No, you did. Then you handed the controller to me. Guns, oh, energy wait. weapons. Uh, energy weapons? Speech. Oh, repair. Repair and melee weapons. I'm pretty sure you built this character. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I got one charisma, so I'm not telling anybody to do anything. Just like real life. So we, no, no charisma for the most optimal New Vegas build. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Hey, uh, you should help me take down the powder gang. There's gonna be bullets, explosions. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I don't know why. I'm with you. <laughs> Might have a word with a few other me. folks, mm. and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. Thank you very much. While everyone does own a gun, Core we can stand man. to be a little better equipped. Core. The general store probably Core has what we need in stock. Kept me standing moving forward for many years. Thank you very much, man. All right, Trudy's with us. Uh, do you have anything for sale? No, uh, she's not joining I'm us sure as a companion. Like. It'd be nice, but now no, she's gonna she's gonna help though. Uh, oh, oh, meeting people. Hell yeah, I need that. Have I seen the trailer for Nuevo Mexico? I have not. There are a lot of different mods out there whose trailers I have not seen because I've been so busy working. Uh, also, can I have some whiskey? Do you have whiskey? I want a whiskey, please. And beer for my horses. And beer for my buddy chicken. Give me a shout if you need anything else. 
Is there anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust we up enjoy between playing the NCR and the Legion over the dam. I tried playing one of the original Stalkers. I don't remember which one it was. Um, the one that everyone really likes. It's that one. I, I played know. one that was really bad. <laughs> um, I tried playing one of them, and it was a little clunky for me. I kind of had a hard time with it. Uh, so I am excited for the new one, though. There's a new Stalker game that's coming out that I am actually excited for that. All right. All right, goodbye. Be careful out there. Clockworth Castle mod. Yeah, I've not checked out very many Skyrim mods. Let's get into that. Why is there a single action army and a glass behind her? That's probably hey. where she keeps it. Why not? Why wouldn't there be? Yeah, you gotta, gotta keep it protected somewhere. Store it somewhere. All right, let's see. Uh, what do I need to convince Chet? You looking to buy some supplies? Maybe. Uh, I need you to fight the Powder Gangers. Yes, yeah, you're gonna help me. 12 out of 25. All right, never mind. Use the Groovatron to make him fight the Powder Gangers manually. Take it uh, easy you know, now. we could do that. We could do that, but let's see. Uh, I need, uh, aid. Let's see. What if I just, uh, take this meeting people and I also drink a whiskey because that's going to boost my charisma. Oh, I have a fun idea. Hey, you, wanna... you looking to buy some supplies? Chat, I need supplies to help fight the powder gang. Yes, again. Again. Why did it only go up by two? Because you didn't give yourself the magazine that increases it by 10. You increased your... Your charisma by one, which makes the barter go up by two. Ah, oh, God <laughs> damn it. I never mind. Right. I'm drunk. Just keep me And out. angry. Oh, I didn't is get anything, anything from being drunk. It sucks. This is terrible. Take it easy now. This is the worst day ever. This is a you son of a bitch. So you could go around, kidnap a bunch of people with a Groovatron, uh -huh. and then unleash hell, just begin a war against the powder gangers by unleashing like 20 different NPCs. All right, we'll do that. Oops, I healed. Groovatron, where is it? Uh. Oh, it's weapons. It's a weapon, yeah. Groovatron. See, that Chet can fight them. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, we Groovy want Groovy extras. Groovy extras. And place and stasis. Place and stasis. All right, Chet, you're coming with us. <laughs> Trudy, Trudy agreed to help me, so she can stay in there. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we need anybody else then. We got Trudy. Oh wait, Easy Pete. Easy Pete. Well, Easy Pete's just outside, so he's gonna fight anyway. We'll get his. Oh, it's. Is he gonna? I guess so. Yeah. Uh, he's just outside, so he'll probably fight. He just yeah. won't use dynamite. Sure. Um. Can buy salesman weekly from him to get the speech. Yeah, but we already got him kidnapped into a gun, so <laughs> we already kidnapped him. Yeah. Yeah. He's not gonna give us the supplies we need, so he's gonna fight. Yeah, we're gonna make him fight. Uh, acquire med medical supplies. Acquire Easy Pete's dynamite. Uh, convince Chet. No. Uh, return to Ringo and Sunny Smiles. Let him know. Ah, yeah, we'll need medical supplies. How much you want to bet I didn't actually uninstall Hope, so she's still down there by the watering hole? Oh, she probably is. Should we go find her? You could. I mean, we can go down to Prim and grab all the NPCs there and bring them back. Ah, that might be a bit much. Yeah, it's a bit of work. I can hoof it. Just grab all the NPCs in town, eh? Ah, uh, we'll just grab Chet. <laughs> just because I think it's funny to make Chet do things that he doesn't want to do. It's hey. <laughs> I'm gonna steal this, and Zach is gonna be so mad. Can I, can I just say how odd it is to see Doc Mitchell's house be cleaned at this point? Yeah, not, not, not have the floor absolutely littered with guns. Yeah. It is really strange. <laughs> hey, Doc Mitchell. Welcome back, Doc Mitchell. I had Thank you, you would need very to come much. See me again so soon. What can I do for you? Dio Aja. Been busy with life lately, life lately. Still enjoying your guys' content. Thank you very oh. much for the five dollars. Oh, Dio Aja. Nice. I don't know who that is. Who is yeah. that? Community member. Oh, around. thank you very much. Some Tower, art. the town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Yeah, you know what they say, war no, never I'm changes. Not much good in a fight, they also say I'm 14 and this is deep. And my supplies For an are reason. scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. You can spare everything and you're gonna come with us, old man. Thanks, Doc. No, Doc helped us, so he's staying here. You take care now. All right, you know, no, I'm fine. He'll come with us. Come on, Doc. If we're not going to leave town, we got to start kidnapping the people in town. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's see. There are two NPCs in stasis. Yeah. So who else? we got to get at least one more. Uh, oh, Victor. Victor doesn't normally fight, though. Yeah, he's kind of like, yeah. I think these I think these people. Sure. I, th I think just all the, all the random... All the random people. Yeah. Place you would say this is evening. And before evening. you yes, kidnap, evening. before you kidnap this one, clone her and kidnap the clone. Okay. Uh, so groovy extras. Um, which oh, clone me. Hey there. 
Where's All right. Going? Oh, there she is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ooh, wrong one. Wrong one. Yeah, you, you want that? You want to? You want to kidnap her? Right? I got the wrong one though. Oh, okay. <laughs> We gotta kidnap the clone. Yeah, we're gonna kidnap the clone. We gotta keep the original one, though. Uh, I the see. original one has to still be around. Well, for, that's why you know. make the clone in case the original dies in combat. Well, no, the original one. Now the original won't die in combat, and the clone will die in combat. Okay, that makes sense. Hey there. We're making a clone army. And that way, you can use the organs that she leaves behind for spare parts. Yeah, exactly. Uh, thank you very much, Justin Kalfusman. I'm sorry I butchered your name for the $25. Hog killing time. Maybe we should get Victor because then he'll go hog killing time. Uh, you can try, but I don't think he will participate in the fight. Okay. How long will the stream be? Probably for another half hour or so. Oh, we still have some of the Good Springs filler characters. Yeah, exactly. That's why we're getting them. Groovy extra. I do believe there is a limit, though, on how many characters you can keep in stasis. It might be five, might be ten. I'm not sure. Well, limit's not five, apparently. <laughs> well, we got six! We got six! We got six. Go through the entire game, kidnap Lanius, and fight, force him to fight Powder Gang. <laughs> is, there, is there a point where Lanius is just kind of like standing no, around? No, he's the uh, final boss of the game. So. Okay, I kind of hope that maybe there's a, he's Like, if you go there, you can see him just standing around so that you could kidnap him and bring him back here. Or, or... <laughs> uh, how about that? There we go. Fake League. Now we want the real one. Well, will he just immediately try to kill me, though? Oh, yeah. I'll abs well, actually, no, he won't. Oh, he isn't. Oh, hell yes. Hell yes. <laughs> hell yes. Groovy Extra is a place in stasis. Ding. All right. <laughs> this is going to be great. This is going to be absolutely great. It's going to be fun on a bun. All right. So now... We'll just tell... Oh, wait. I think we got to tell... Oh, we can tell Ringo. That's right. We got to tell Ringo that we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. We got to tell Ringo we're ready to go, go. It's Sunny, yeah, Sunny Smiles is coming with us. We got the stuff from Trudy. Yep. All right. This is going to go swimmingly. Yeah. It's going to be marvelous. Will we ever cover the Destroy All Humans games? Probably not. But I played them when I was younger. I played the first one. That was pretty good. Never actually beat it, though. I do not expect this to work, and we'll be surprised if it does. I will be surprised, too. I bet you we're going to re release them all from stasis, then Lanny's is going to kill everyone. <laughs> Maybe. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? Yes, she did. And I have a bunch of friends. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can oh, do. Oh, you have to name your army before you unleash them, Zach. Uh, we're going to be called um, the... The Horde. The the Buddies of Chicken. The, all right. <laughs> the Buddies of Chicken. The Zack Attackers. All right, let's go. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are Chicken's here to play. Chicken's Buddies? The, the, yeah. Where's Trudy and the rest of them? The ones that I don't have stuck in, uh, <laughs> stuck inside my, my kidnap gun. They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get out there soon. All right, let's go. At least six. Only they six? Look mean. Oh, this is going to be easy. Be we have more than that kidnapped. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, how do I like? Do, how do I summon people? Oh yeah, to make it a it's, yeah, it's the groovy snacks. Thing. Oh, that's right, it's the groovy snacks. Yeah, you use the gun. I got, I got a hot key, the groovy snacks. My whiskey just wore off. You got a hot key, groovy snacks. Also, be in third person, I believe, when you use that. All right. Well, we'll get into position, and then I will uh... unleash the army. Release the the buddies. Here they come. We see them. And then what do we do? Groovy uh, extras. Uh, so, yep. And then we can extract all. Death to fight fight for us. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Why is he mad? No! Oh, okay, no. <laughs> oh, no. Now he's just going to kill all of our friends. Oh, no. The powder gang. Oh, have... shit. He killed Doc Mitchell. Oh, no. Why? <laughs> <laughs> this did not work at all. It didn't work at all. No. He's softening us up for them. <laughs> It turns out the enemy of my enemy. Get him! Get him, Big Horner! As get him. it turns out, yeah, the enemy of my enemy is just still my enemy! You didn't know that! Still enemy! Oh, the Big Horner. God damn it. Alright, alright, Lanius, Lanius. Back in your box. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> ah, God. This team isn't killing the dance! 
He's too hostile. He yeah, dance. he's too busy. He's too busy dancing. The slaughter Don't has commenced. Oh no! All right, all right, all right. We need to. We need to. Um, we're we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to just go ahead and do that one over again. All right, so don't we don't. We, maybe we don't release Lanius then, maybe. Yeah, maybe we don't. Maybe maybe not Lanius. Would you like to release him now? So what's going and on? deal with it it's and then sunny. release everyone else? That's a good idea. Try to. I'll, I'll do my best. Hang on. Just gotta do this that. Is, we just gotta we just gotta redo this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do we have any more donations? We're having too much fun, so suddenly. Uh nope. Alright, cool. If you guys want to donate, the link is in the chat or the video description if you want to support the American Heart Association. Okay, Groovy Extras, uh, Stasis Extraction Menu, uh, I don't remember which one he is, is it, is it six? I think it was six or seven, yeah, maybe it was seven, we went for seven, see who that is. Yeah, it was seven, Looks it was like seven, he's gonna kill Ringo, no! Okay, okay, uh, what? Okay, there you go, <laughs> just kill him. <laughs> oh, he's still mad, just kill him. Alright, alright, just, just, we'll, we'll, we'll just get rid of him. You've killed him! The Beast of the West is dead! Yay! No, wait, that's the NCR. Beast of the East is dead. And the and just in time for Take it so <laughs> yep. Use the Groovatron to equip the helmet on Sunny Smiles and never... <laughs> Why ah, is he alive again? How'd that happen? <laughs> oh, cause he's not programmed to be alive, because he is he's the endgame boss, so. He looks kinda like Al Chest Breach. <laughs> Not everyone who's got those mullet things, the the, 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 the facial things. They all look like Al Chest Breach. <laughs> hey. Motherfucker. Oh, you're going to give it to Bad Motherfucker. Yeah. All right. I don't know, his hammer might do more. He's got it equipped now, so. All right, there we go. Okay. Hey, Ringo, guess what? You're going to wear the, you're going to ring it. Oh, his... yeah, Ringo's going to wear it. Ring... No, the Sunny Smiles will wear it. Okay, okay. We'll have Sunny Smiles wear it. It'll be easy. Okay, okay. So what's going on? Yes. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, I'm ready. I hope. All right. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. All right, let's go. Meanwhile, Bad Motherfucker's gonna have to stand on the ceiling. ceiling. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. All right, and as soon as we get outside, I just gotta find. There we go. Uh, what do we do? Uh, access inventory. And then you give her whatever you want her to wear, like the jumpsuit or the whatever. There, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Wait, that isn't like Atlantis' helmet. It's a helmet, I guess. It's a. I, I get. All right. From whatever. the backside, it looks the same. It's not the randomizer mod, but we we have given her some random stuff. Let's see what let's see what she looks like. Oh no, that is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> perfect. All right, all right, all right. And then now we come over this way. It's getting kind of dark out here. Yeah, getting kind of late. And we do groovy extras, uh, stasis extraction menu, extract all. Oh, Chat, get in firing. there, get him, get him, Chat. Wait, why are they firing in the wrong direction? Oh no, they're firing oh, in the right Doc direction. Doc Mitchell is it? What's Doc Mitchell doing? <laughs> Doc Mitchell's going mad. Oh, what is Doc Mitchell doing? Okay, there no, he is. He's, there they're, he they're goes. fine. They're fine. They're not hostile. Yeah. Oh my God! The ah! <laughs> the big horrors even got in on it. <laughs> Woo! All right. Level I, two. It took us a couple hours, but we're here. I barely had to do anything. I'm gonna put him into speech this time because clearly I need it. Why did I put? I said speech and then I put it in sneak. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm dumb. I wasn't paying attention so very well. You can dump it wherever you want. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Great. Uh, oh, I'm gonna pick Lady Killer. I'm gonna nail your body to the cross. You're gonna face west. You can watch your world burn. Wow. I owe you a huge favor for this. Thank you very much, Here. Neville. These are technically the Crimson donation. Caravan I funds, helps, but even at $10. I know they'll thank understand once I explain helps. things. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you everyone who's donated to this charity so far. Really thank appreciate you very much. it. Uh, you're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. 
If you ever visit New Vegas, oh, look me that would have been funny. If we included there. the badly translated mod. I don't know if there's a badly translated mod for New Vegas though. I don't know. All right, let's see. Did, who did who did we lose? All the powder gangers. I mean, clearly all the powder gangers have died. Did Chet actually? Did Chet Chet's actually alive. got involved. Chet lived. Yep. I'm glad. That, oh, it's just motherfucker back there. <laughs> oh, he's, yeah. He's he's having a he's having a time. And see, this is why we have uh, time scales set differently because yeah. after three hours it becomes pitch black. <laughs> yeah. Hello. And then you have to like go. You have to go wait. You have to set time scale. Yeah, it's all the default. You can you can you can fast forward it if you want. But all right. Well, we have completed that. Whew. Have we seen the MP7 concept from PSA? I, I have. have. I did a video on it. Zach has. Yeah. I have seen it. Oh. Well, we don't have the time scale set because uh, I waited eight hours and it's. Oh wait, no, it's because it's four a.m. <laughs> Sometimes you get interrupted. Maybe someone comes up to you and talks to you about boost There we go! Yay! Yay! Why is it night? Because that's what the, the normal time scale in this game is. Yeah, after two or three hours, it's just, it's just night. It goes through the entire day night cycle in about four hours. How you guys how you guys feel about uh how you guys feel about that? Being blinded by the sun. Yikes. It was so dark earlier and now it's so bright. Yeah. I'm just gonna blind all you guys in your rooms. I don't like that. The clone doesn't really know what to do. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> she was supposed to sacrifice herself in battle, and now she has no purpose. All right. Why am I saving? I have to use the bathroom. Oh, okay. All right. Mike, do something. All right. I'll answer questions. Ah, there you go. Ah. I'm doing something, all right. I'm doing stuff. All right. What's my favorite color? I like the color red. Thank you for asking. Red is such a nice, beautiful color. The color of roses. The color of fire trucks. Who doesn't like a good fire truck? The color of love. The color of hate. The color of hearts. The color of Valentine's Day. Woo! When is the next next Skyrim coming? Well, we do Skyrim Saturdays. Uh, yeah, we, we're actually on a schedule, so we do Wasteland Wednesday, Fallout Friday, and Skyrim Saturday. So, if you want to know when the next video comes out, it'll be those days. Is Zach ready to play Boom to the Moon yet? I don't know. I'm not sure if that would be a good fit for the channel. I thought about it previously, but it's not a super funny mod. It's an interesting in investigative mod, but I'm not, I'm not sure it's a, like a, a wacky, silly, fun thing. What did you do? Uh, I talked to Bad Motherfucker, and I talked about how I like the color red. I know you had to have done You weren't gone that long. I didn't have time to do anything. Have you ever pl played Valheim? Yeah, I got, a, I got a video of Valheim. I got a video of Valheim on the channel. Yes. Whoop, whoop. Best flavor crayon. Oh, the red orange ones are pretty good. Eh. How long does it take to get all the mods functional? I mean, I pretty much got it down to a science at this point. <laughs> what element of magic is my favorite? I do like a lot of fire, yes. Thank you very much, Shadows of Six, for the $10 donation. Really appreciate it. Uh, well, I guess that's all we need to do here. Wait, where's Buddy Chicken? Where's Buddy Chicken? I don't know. I didn't do anything with Buddy Chicken. Where's Buddy Chicken? It's over there. He's just kind of relaxing by the saloon, having a good time. For oh, I think reason. he is. Yeah. Might have been broken. I don't know. Buddy Chicken! Uh, if he's stuck, you can always put him back in your pocket. Yeah, but he gets sad when I put him in my pocket. <laughs> he gets sad when I put him in my pocket. 
Oh, no. <laughs> That's a small it makes pocket. me sad. You got to get bigger pockets. You know, like those big poofy pants pockets. I got, I got cargo pockets. All right, buddy chicken. Where's that? Where, where's buddy chicken? Oh, I think it's because I picked him up, so now I have to drop him. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> and then he does that, which also makes me kind of sad. See, th yes, this is this is a buddy chicken after a couple drinks at Trudy's bar. Motherfucker. He's he he hit the sauce a little bit too. Ah, uh, yeah. A little drinky, a little drinky drink. All right, and then we just gotta wake buddy chicken up. How? His routines are disabled. Why? I don't know. But buddy, buddy chicken work. I'm gonna be very sad if Buddy Chicken doesn't start working. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey! For a moment, I thought I'd have to showcase how to do the CPR video again. You know, on Buddy Chicken. I mean, we probably should show that how to do that video. We probably should show that video again. Yeah, we should. If, if in case anyone doesn't know how to do hands-free, uh, I keep saying hands-free, hands-only hand CPR. Yeah. All right, so we have Buddy Chicken. We've got Bad Motherfucker. Replace every NPC with Bad Motherfucker. I mean, that would be interesting. Go into third person. Oh, that's what you did. You have red hair now. Ha ha. That's what you did. I did. Oh, bad motherfucker. Why are you having problems back there? Also, you turned me into a, a robot lady. Beep boop. You are robot lady now. All right. Well, I guess I'm a robot lady. Uh, you should play in third person and take off all your clothes. That'll attract a lot more people. I feel like that, no, because <laughs> there, you probably don't have the right mod installed and it will be TOS and get us into a lot of trouble. No, there's no genitalia. You're a robot. Thank you very much, Derward Beavis, for the $100. Whoa. Imagine having this last name in basic training. Beavis, thank you. Der yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Am I collecting anything new beyond Geiger counters and flashlights? I'm always collecting weird stuff. It's always got some fun things. I, I'm always collecting weird things. I've been looking at flight data recorders lately. Random powder ganger for no reason! Sudden powder ganger attack! Your skill with guns is not very high right now, so your aim is wobbling all over the place. I gotta get literally like right up in his face. And now I'm out of ammo. And now he's going to push that- and Now he's going to run away! <laughs> yeah, I, I basically have like no, no weapons. Where my rifle go, I guess? <laughs> the moment I thought I did that, but there's the glitch where he shot up in the sky. All right. You shot a man in the back while he was trying to flee. Whoa, we got friends though, we got friends. <laughs> I'm hit. Yeah, you are hit. You we know, got with that a lot faster than the other one. Yeah, that's kind of weird how much, how much health the other one had. You know what we need to do? You know what we need to do? What, I know what we need to what's do. What's that, what's that, what's, what's it? What do we do? I don't know what we need to do. We need to go uh, T, C. T C L. God, TCK, I can't type. Closing bracket. T C L. And then I need to go to the magical place that has all the oh, the, the guns, the the, the, the cheater guns. Because right. I'm a cheater. <laughs> Flying away to the guns on the rooftop. I have become Signalis. I, you know, yeah. I can show you some guns. I like guns. We'll go to the secret gun thing and I'll take one, one gun, one gun. Pump action and semi-automatic. Just, just one? Can you restrain yourself to just one? Yes. Really? Yes, I can. Really? All right, TCL me. Hit me, hit me with that TCL. All right, well, what do we got, what do we got? We got uh, 22, 3, oh wait, I should just go to weapons. Just go to weapons if you don't want the, the add-ons. Uh, okay, so there's an MP7 in there. Uh, nine mil, nine mil, South America side, Anarchy, uh, we've, I've already seen Anarchy. Anti-armor rifle, is that a PTR, it's 41? All right, uh, Anarchist, Auto Revolver, Baja Campaign Rifle. There's so many guns Better here. British, Big Chungus. <laughs> Bitter memory, which looks like it's a Dragnov. Uh, bullpup assault carbine, another bullpup. Bullpup assault shotgun. And, and bullpup variants of so many things. Why are there so many LED-5s in here? Someone's a fan. Someone lacks them. 
Hey, the chop shot. That one's got like a, a magazine going anyway, right there. It's going a magazine going on to the top of it, but I don't want that the one. Top loader, you like those top loading magazines? Oh, civil protector. I'm willing to bet anything that this is based off of the MP7 <laughs> that's in Half Life. Yeah. Or Half Life Two. Yeah. I'll have to look at it because if it's the same model, that would be pretty funny. I think you guessed it. Yeah. Um, I might do the civil protector. I might just ignore all of these other ones and just do that one. Well, you got a gun called Death's Whisper. I think you might be hearing from Riku Riku's lawyers about that. She had the last one, I'll have you know. Oh, yeah, the Force of Nature. That's from, uh, Team Fortress. Oh, yeah, the shotgun that the scout uses. That's was there one in here called Bocce the Glock? Was that, <laughs> was that actually one in here? Uh, you have to scroll all the way back to the top. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there was. What's that one? Whose is that? I don't know. It's a, it's a pistol, though, but it's Bocce the Glock. Oh, okay. It's based on the anime Bocce the Rock. Thank you very much, Alec Marler. I'm doing my part. Yes, you are. For the 20, for the $10 donation, as well as D-Rain for the $25 donation. I really appreciate it. You know what? I'll tell you what. We'll take this one. We'll take I Bocce the Glock. I D-Rain down in Africa. We'll take Bocce the Glock because LOL. You said just one, though. I did say just one. But you're not doing that one for you. But chat you. wanted, chat wanted yeah. to see Bocce the Glock. Chat so. wanted to see that, so it's for chat. Yeah, yes. it's for chat. It's not for me. Uh, it's for chat. I'm not going to get on your case if you grab three or four of them. Whatever. Pliskin's... Oh, my God. Uh, so, yeah, that's the, that's the gun from... Uh, Escape from New York. Escape from New York. Yep, that's what that is. Uh, I mean, is it called Pliskin's Escape? I guess... No, but it's the movie is Escape from New York, and the character's name is Snake Pliskin. Hello, my name is Pliskin, and this is my gun, Escape. Hey, sneaky breaky, yay! All right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna do the um, the other one. I said the civil protection. Yeah. How is that? I play with the civil protection. Yep, a little higher than that. Yep. Great. We'll use those two. Uh, what caliber are they? Good to know. Yeah, I do. Civil protector is five millimeter. So search for five millimeter ammo. Oh, I gotta. Yeah, I type in search and not sirach. And we'll give you some bulk ammo, because, you know, whatever. Not the bulk ammo, no! Dang it, why don't I type it in properly? What was it? One, three, one, six, one. No, wait. Typed in a five. Six, one, five, eight, eight. I got two of them, yep. There you go. And then we also need a uh, nine millimeter for Bocce the Glock. Eight. Echo. Delta. O oh, three. There you go. All right. Wrong ammo. Dang it. Oh, wait. Hit up on the D-pad. Wrong ammo. Dang it. For the, what is that? Look, it's Bocce the Glock. It, it's pink. It's got a pink lower receiver. Oh. Uh, well, that's the right ammo, but I need uh, I need five millimeter. I gave you five. I gave you five millimeter. It's probably the wrong five millimeter. Six one five. Also, thank you very much, Ven. Uh, thank you very much, Ven, for the forty dollars. I really appreciate it. What did you? What did he say? Money for the cause. Also, I want to hear Zach's level of Spanish because of the funny. My level of Spanish is uh, nil. Is that is nil Spanish? No, that's that's. Hey, there we go. Okay, there you go. MP seven. Hey, so we got an MP7 and we got uh, we got Bocce the Glock. What's the inspect? Is that I? It's uh, currently O and P. Oh. Yeah, got the ammo there, yeah. P. Eh. Look, it's Bocce the Glock. Uh, I like that the sights oh, are like it. her you colors. Little, if you hit P again, you can see the little anime character on the right yeah, side of the gun. Yeah, there's Bocce is on the side of the gun. Uh, and it's a, uh, not a streamlight. It's an Insight. The name of the flat. Oh, yeah, it's an Insight M6X light that's on there. Okay. So yeah, we got Bocce the Glock. Uh, does this have the grenade launcher on it? No, it does. Oh, yes, it does. There's a grenade launcher underneath the barrel. Oh, I think, hold and on. And it's got the Lambda symbol hold, on I, it. I think, it, I, hold on. Stand in one spot and then hold down the A button, I believe it is. Yeah, once this is done, I think. Okay, so there are one or two guns in that bag that have a grenade launcher you can use. I guess that's not one of them. Oh, oh, you have to you spawn have... in the grenades. Grenade launcher. 
Do if I... you, you have to spawn in the grenades for it. Um, I think you, would, you could still swap over to it. It would just have zero grenades. Well, then what's the button to swap over to? I don't... I, I think you just stand in one spot, and then you hit activate in a spot. You hold it, hold down the activate button, and it swaps over. I'm doing it. Yeah, it's not it's not doing it. So maybe this one doesn't have it, or... Maybe I don't remember how you do it. Does she squeak when she shoots? No, but that'd be cool. That would be funny if Bochi, if Bochi the Glock squeaked when she shot. Change, yes, yeah, custom sounds. Oh, it's got different, the, the sights are red, blue, and yellow on the dots Yeah, because they're like, they're like her colors. Oh, all right. You know, it's interesting that, that M6X, I'm pretty sure, has the tail cap from a Surefire X300 on it, but it's not a Surefire light. And we're so close to hitting the $4,000 donation mark. That's crazy, everybody. Thank you very much to uh, GC4 Taurus Daily. I really appreciate it. And thank you very much to BoxBox for the $10. Thank you. Fallout 4 has a handheld Geiger counter mod. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. I would play around with that. Oh, wait, I gotta... Yeah, search for this instead of just adding. How is the wife doing? She's doing very well. well now you got grenades and you can swap over to them. I don't know if you can. Yeah, I think you just hold down activate and that, that should change over some I mean, of the guns. I'm, I'm doing it, but it's not working. Maybe it needs a specific mod. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Search, civil. Um, there's facts there. Ah, oh, it's good. It's telling me civilian. Nah, I don't know what the I don't know what it would be. Oh well, whatever. It's fine. I'm sure. I'm sure if we do uh, show this off on the channel, we'll, we'll have the grenade launcher attachment and stuff like that. For what does it have that as an option? What's an in-game companion that, or a character that should be a companion but isn't? Ghost, the lady from the uh, from. The NCR... The Mojave Outpost. Yeah, the Mojave Outpost. She should be a companion. She isn't, but she should be. I think uh, she was going to be, and then they were just like, ah, she's too much work, and Cass is basically the same thing. I don't know. I, I always maintain that there should be more of a Legion counterpart. There was a lot of Legion stuff that got cut. I know Ulysses was planned to be a Legion companion, and maybe maybe you didn't need to have him oh, as a Oh, shit. Companion. Is that Niner? No, it's not. Niner's not installed. Are you sure? I'm sure. Because he's standing in the same spot. No, and there's a mo That's not a motorcycle. Niner stands in the road next to a broken motorcycle, remember? Okay. Someone said Fisto. I feel like that's the correct answer. <laughs> thank you, IED Softworks, for the $25 subscription. Hey, thank for, you. But for we're 4K, over the 4, how Hey, we're limit. over 4,000. The, the limit. We hit the mark, though. Yay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Dax, for the $25 subscription. We are over 4,000. Let's shoot the tumbleweed to celebrate. We're over $4,000 in donations. I think that means you guys have doubled the last time we did this, because we got like 2,000 last time. Uh, I think. You know, I honestly don't remember. A little over 2,000. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everybody. Also, thank you very much, Michael, for the $10 donation. Michael, it's your birthday today. <laughs> Cake and ice cream are on the way. Yeah, that guy has deleted content that was undeleted. Peace, Traveler. Okay. Keep your guns loaded and ready. What do you think I've been doing? He didn't really see it because he had sunglasses on, but his eyes were kind of big. Oh. Rats, rats, we are the rats, celebrating another birthday bash. Michael, it's your birthday today. <laughs> Cake and ice cream are on the way, cause Michael has been a good boy this year. Open up the gifts while we all cheer. Burn it. Don't forget to check out that toaster. Get fucked. Please don't explode on us. That'd be very rude. Ah! Thanks, toaster. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go use Bochi the Glock on some uh, on some powder gangers. Oh, someone else is here. Oh, hey, they brought themselves to you. They heard Bochi was in town. They wanted to hear her music, but instead her music is just they get shot. <laughs> they hear the sound of their own death. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Rats, rats, we are the rats. <laughs> Maybe they don't need another companion, but if they could have turned Lily into a fully fleshed out companion, that would have been pretty cool. Yeah, that would have been pretty neat. Thank you very much to Vanessa 
It's been a fan since Zach Gunner Ransom. I've watched all of your videos. Thank you very much for the kind words. Thanks for supporting the American Heart Association. My five year old daughter was uh, diagnosed with a thankfully blind <laughs> heart murmur last Had year. Enough. Well, I'm glad that it was benign. And thank you very much for the donation. Kill that powder guy who's got a bright red beret on his head. A red wool hat. In the middle of the desert. Then again, it does get cold in the desert, so I don't know, maybe. Uh, thank you to Arch Ar Arc Charger. Arc Charger again, thank you. One dollar. And thank you to Rusty Winchester 1895, who says, love you guys. For the $42, thank you very much. $42? $42 from Rusty Winchester 1895. Goodness. And thank you to GC4 Taurus Daily for the $1 donation. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. Mentat man, you say Lily is a full companion, but I just. Ah! <laughs> oh, my arm! She has half as many voice lines as a lot of the other followers. She doesn't have a lot to say, it makes me sad. No. Who keeps exploding? Uh, also, where is, <laughs> where is Buddy Chicken? Where'd Buddy Chicken go? Where'd he Where go? does Buddy Chicken keep going? Buddy Chicken, why are you doing this to me? Did he go back to Good Spring Saloon? Why are you making me worry so much, Buddy Chicken? Ah, there Don't you make go. me worry so much, Buddy Chicken. I'm gonna just duct tape an MP7. I'm gonna duct tape <laughs> this MP7 to Buddy Chicken. Get that little uh, companion robot from the frontier to crawl around, little blow up robot. Oh, he was fun. The little, the little like, robo crab thing. Yeah. He was fun. I liked him. Launches explosions out of his face. Hey, is that my NPC? I think it is. Yeah. Where? Oh, oh you provoked him and killed him. You, you, you hostiled him, so now he's going to die. Where? Oh, you shot him. There was a powder ganger. He's yeah. the powder gangers that I added. Well, they're powder gangers. That one right there. He's, he's the one who tries. He's tries to extort you. Oh well, he's dead now. Yeah, I guess he's not gonna be able to, huh? Well, you know, maybe if they didn't want to be shot at because they're powder gangers, they should have worn an outfit other than an immediately recognizable powder ganger outfit. Yeah. Yeah, probably. They should stop doing that. They should, yeah. Because then people won't shoot at them. Because they'll be like, oh, it's just a random wastelander. Yeah. And not, oh no, a powder ganger. Take off your blue cloak, blue coat that identifies you as an enemy. Yeah, get out of here, you raw lobster. Raw lobster. <laughs> Buddy chicken with a gun, like putting a gun on a Roomba. Yeah, exactly. Ex yes, exactly. Alexa, release the Claymore Roombas. What is my favorite tank from any time, any place? Uh, it's the Stridsvagen 103. That's my all-time favorite tank. I love it. The little Swedish S tank. The angriest door wedge. It's favorite tank. Hello, random person Hello. out here. Hey there. Hi. Have you met Buddy Chicken? Clearly not. <laughs> was that the sound of her eating a biscuit? I, maybe. I don't know what that was. <sighs> Someone with CHD, you're super happy that this community has donated so much. Yeah, it's great. You guys are doing awesome. Y'all are amazing. Thank you. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Wherever the hell I want, loser! You <laughs> the survival rate for CHD has gone up dramatically in the last three years. That sounds great. I mean, it's not great that children get heart disease, but I'm glad that, I'm glad the survival rate has gone up. Why, Zach? I like the I like the Stridswagen 103. Don't get mad at me. It's my favorite tank. I like it. It's a good tank. Well, actually, I, I shouldn't say that. It's a fun tank, and I like how it looks. Also, it can go as fast in reverse as it can at forwards. And the radio <laughs> operator sits backwards in the tank, and he can drive the tank. It's the good. tank has two steering sections. Yeah. You can drive the tank from the back or the front. That's pretty cool. I like the I like the Stridswagen 103. I, I like know. how you saw, you called it a good tank, then you had to catch yourself and go, oh, uh, not I really. I don't know if it's a good the Mojave tank, but almost makes you wish for a nuclear like winter. Just because I like it doesn't mean it's good. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> opinion on the Fallout TV show? Haven't seen it yet. Don't know. No opinion. Watch out for the landmines. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 what? It's because you it's because you grabbed the mouse. You grabbed the mouse. You're making me walk into landmines. Mike, stop! Stop! I can't do stop it! Stop doing it, Mike! Sorry, no! Thank you for the donation, Tab 1224! Thank you very much! Okay, wait, what's going on? Okay. Now I can control it. Hey! 
Hey, you. Hey, it's there's Mother Companion. Gamer. Nice. To get shot. Thank you very much, Alex with the arch for the $10 donation. I really appreciate it. And thank you to Tab1224 for the $12.24 donation. $12.24 donation. Do you have any favorite aircraft, Mike? Me? I don't, because I'm not sure what I would pick for that. Because there's so many aircraft out there, I don't know what of them by name. Mine's the Ant Nave Ant 2. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Can I get through? Well, as the new owner of the Mojave Express, allow me to formally terminate your employment. You're fired. Okay, bye. We lost a package. We were supposed to deliver it. Can you help us? We need information. There should be an option to just leave the conversation. There should be. I didn't, like I I favor, didn't include that. I really should have included that. Incompetence. Oh, yeah. Hard to forget that ugly suit stood out like a sore thumb. And... I don't, watch I don't like this guy. I'm going to kill him. Thugs were great con. It's kind of a tradition to kill this guy over and over again. I can help you find them. No, I will not do you a favor. They're hoping the NCR comes by and kicks us out. I should go. Powder gangers rule. We're the powder <laughs> gangers. That's us. And we rule. I'm sure you do rule, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chex. Mr. Chex. Better Wait, hang on. Check the inside of this barrel. See if there's any gum inside of it. Mr. Chex? Oh, should have checked himself before he wrecked himself. He really should have. He is an absolute idiot. Favorite shotgun? There's so oh, many yeah. guns! I mean, like. Get him, motherfucker! Oh. Get him! Look, motherfucker's just gonna, just gonna... Yeah, there we go. There we go. I don't even have to do anything. I mean, we didn't have to do anything for the battle against the Powder Gangers and Good Springs, but it was still fun. Oh! Ho, ho! Hey, oh, a chunk of it landed really close to you. <laughs> Thanks, motherfucker. What a great friend motherfucker is. Oh, I'm, I'm hurt. There we go. Wonderful. Excellent. How good is my Spanish? Es muy bueno, gracias por darme la pregunta. His Spanish is... Uh, he speaks Spanish just as well as Peggy Hill does. Wee oui, wee! Oui. See? I told you. I don't, I don't think my bad Spanish would lead to somebody being kidnapped, though, so... Would she abducted that small child? Uh, yeah, Peggy Hill did do that. She did kidnap a small child because her Spanish was so bad. And then she had to explain her actions in court. Which is, ironically, what got her out of a prison sentence because her Spanish was so bad. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen a whole lot of King of the Hill, but I, I've seen a lot of good bits from it. Uh, I think we're gonna start winding things down. It's been a fun time hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much for all the donations, too. Yes, thank you all very much. Thanks to you guys, we got uh, $4,151 for the American Heart Association, which we really appreciate. Yeah, I'm sure all the people that benefit from that research will appreciate it even more. Yes. But thank you all for tuning in. We probably should play, uh, we probably should play the, the video one more time before we go. Yeah, we'll play that as the outro. Yeah, we'll wrap things up by playing the CPR video one more time. So this whole whole thing was to, uh, well, not the whole thing was to uh, raise money for the American Heart Association. But one of the big things they wanted you all to know about is uh, hands-only CPR. So you don't have to, you know, breathe into their mouths or anything. You just sing the chorus to stay alive in your head as you're compressing somebody's chest. And they wanted you to know how to do it because not a lot of people, the vast majority of people do not know how to do it. So... It's probably beneficial to know how to do it. It is very important. It is though. beneficial. Yeah. Because a couple of bruised ribs is nothing compared to saving somebody's life. So, over 400% of the goal. Yeah, I, I underestimated you guys' tenacity. So thank you. Thank you for that. You do good. You do. I have heard people say before, like, well, what if they're not having a, a heart attack and you're just, or, well, what, whatever it is you should do CPR for. What if they're not having that and you do CPR anyway? And the thing is, if you're doing CPR on someone, 
and you're not supposed to be doing CPR on you, they're probably not going to let you not do CPR on <laughs> They'll them. probably bat you away, like, knock it off, I don't like this. Stop it, you're breaking my ribs. <laughs> What if you did CPR on the rhythm of Master of Puppets? I mean, that's a that's <laughs> a way to do it. Through the fire and flames, bring it. Uh, that might be a bit much. That right. was, uh, Speed running them, bringing them back to life. <laughs> the, the American Heart Association will not ask us to do a charity for them anymore if you do that. If you do it to, uh, to through the fire and flames, so please don't do that. <laughs> it's that that bit from uh, the Office where they're doing staying alive, but they're, do, they're not doing the chorus. Like at first I was afraid, I was petrified. No, it's a different song, Mike. Uh, That's... Different, something, something like that. Yeah, I don't know. No, and then on the Office, he cuts off the mask on the on the CPR <laughs> and puts it on himself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. All right. Oh, thank you very much, EMR Fish, for the fifty dollars. Oh, we nice. really appreciate it. Thank you for slipping that in there. Yeah. Well, why don't we play the video one more time, and then that will be good for today. All right. So this has been a lot of fun. I hope to do another stream like this in the future, because hanging out with you guys and Zach is always a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to catch us again, you know we have videos coming out on the channel every other day or so and we do our own streams on twitch so you can check us out regularly or around there so uh yeah we'll play the video the cpr video one more time thank you again one last time so much for all the very charitable and very generous donations you have given to the american heart association and just kind of thanks for being here and having a lot of fun with us remember to stop cpr after the second owl that's not medical advice <laughs> but that might that might not be a bad idea <laughs> And here's how you do it. Oh, hold on, let me just, uh, let me, let me, uh, let me just, uh, let me just get out of this game. There you go. All right. So here is the CPR video in case you didn't see it earlier, and that'll be it for us. Thank you all for stopping by. Have a good night. If you see a teen or adult suddenly collapse, it's important to act fast. Helping to save a life is easier than you might think. Just start hands-only CPR. The first step is to send someone to call your local emergency response number or call it yourself. Then get directly over the victim. Put the heel of one hand in the center of the chest. Then put your other hand on top of the first. Then push hard and fast in the center of the chest until help arrives. It's important to push, giving 100 to 120 compressions per minute, which is about the same tempo as this song. Let's hope you never have to use hands-only CPR. But if you see a teen or adult suddenly collapse, don't be afraid to try it. Remember, call your local emergency number, then push hard and fast in the center of the chest until help arrives. Your actions can help save a life. To learn more, visit international.heart.org.